know, yeah, I know, Wayne, I know Wayne's voice. They like, don't care. Trust me. They don't yeah. care. You're, you're the person that makes me like play, play the copyrighted stuff because you play man. whatever on Just your play, show. Bro. So, like, Fuck it, man. <laughs> Know, but then bro. it's quiet on YouTube where you yeah, don't get the yeah. you're playing everyone's vibing and like <laughs> you hear nothing in the background. Exactly. Like, yeah. What are those ones? So, it's a little It's probably I'm this is great. I mean episode what, ten? Who oh, who is it? See you're not even prepared. No, who's, that's who's that's, number that's ten. Penny, that's uh, Penny Hardaway. Number, number 10? ten. Every yeah. episode they talk about a basketball player with the number of episodes we're on. Who's ten? I don't Who know. Who was number ten? Number Penny Hardaway, 10. he was on the Heat. Was OJ Mayo number ten? Penny Hardaway on the Heat. No, never 10? mind. There was someone on the on the heat that was ten. Was it OJ? Who Wrong am Florida. I thinking of? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> number Ooh. ten. Who's NBA. number ten? Hurry, quick! I think do Dennis Rodman was number do ten do at one point. Do 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 Seth Curry, Seth Steve Curry. Nash, Gilbert Arenas. God yeah, Gilbert. Ar- what Gilbert Arenas? Oh yeah, in Orlando. Yeah, because uh, he's aging double zero. I was like, what? Sam Cassell, Aaron Flalo. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I should start bringing like prizes. Sam Dallenberg. Yeah. I'm gonna start bringing prizes for you guys, and Give whoever ways. gets no for you guys. So whoever oh. like see is now the you first told them person. now they're gonna be studying every week <laughs> before they come in. Whoever here. the first 11? person to drop an NBA player yeah. for the episode number will get my prize. Yeah, incentivize us. Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you rolling your eyes? Like, what if it's a good prize? You're gonna be sick every week. I have money. Oh, Play excuse me, me, big, big stepper. So. <laughs> you're gonna Play say good me. boy after. This <laughs> <laughs> like I have money. I have money. Why? What if it's like a hundred dollar gift card somewhere? Every week, I got money. Jeez. Every week, promotion. <laughs> Talk to them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> since it's like that, spend that on some new cords and yeah, microphones. Spend it on but some on new now, equipment. For now the all of a sudden, there's a budget for. No, for I got money. One of our lights doesn't even have a cover on it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you exposing our business? And the ball was a different color than the other one. Because that's warm light. It's warm light. Warm yeah, light. It's different. Need a combination. It's very lights. different. <laughs> Anyways. Welcome, Marlon. <laughs> God's bag is Thank missing a wheel. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we need we you need are, upgrades. You are, listen, this is a great what we have right now. You weren't with us in the trenches, so you need to mm. shut up. You got here very late. Mm. Marlon, I was here. You were there. Marlon was, the was trenches. with us in the ghetto. My you had money then. Dude. In the ghetto. No, I, not the money I have now for sure. I didn't have the same job I have no now. Way. Yeah, this, no way. <laughs> I mean, I'm, said, no st- I'm still working with the same budget. <laughs> no way. This guy said, no way. Yeah, that was what, 2020. So that was four years yeah, ago. 2020, and we yeah. were in the ghetto with it. Pandemic with it. Pandemic, ghetto, COVID. We had to put, uh, people know, an ice bucket in front of a fan because it was so hot in the oh, room. Yeah. We had there a was makeshift no, air conditioning. And there was no AC. That was genius. Look at us now. <laughs> that was Comfy. Genius. <laughs> I mean, we don't have covers for our lights. But <laughs> it's one getting, light cover. We're getting there. It's fine. <laughs> getting I mean, there. Look at us. Cozy. Anyways. Was poppin'? What's poppin'? Everyone welcome to episode 10. It's Diaries. Uh, I'm your main host, Zoe. I'm Clyde. I'm Trezor. And Marlon is here. Say your name, man. Marlon. Oh, sorry. My bad. I didn't know. I thought it was like a whole thing. <laughs> Marlon from the Extra Gravy Podcast and also the... Basically, still new host of Flow 987 yeah. radio station yeah. in Toronto. Uh, we wanted to have you on when you announced it because I feel like that was a really big yeah. moment for people, especially like close to you or not close to a radio or no flow. I didn't um, realize it was going to be so big for people. Yeah, it was a big <laughs> freaking deal. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize people cared about radio still. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I think. I'll be honest, I don't care about radio, but I care about the legacy. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to see them put something back into it that, you know what I mean? I don't need to listen to Flo all the time, but it's nice to know that we have something still that's being carried by the new generation. You know what I mean? So that's great. I also think you and Ace are like the right choice. 100%. That is like the right Thank you, man. Yeah, it's it's been fun. It's hard waking up that early, but it's fun. It's fun. Because you guys are the morning show, so you're 6 to 9, Monday mm-hmm. to Friday. Yeah. A lot of mercy. And yeah. you usually record your podcast on Tuesdays. Yes. So you're here with us while yeah. doing that. <laughs> like, got a show to but yeah, yeah, busy. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh. Definitely. It's, it's, it's tough to, like, somewhat balance. You realize how short the day is, mm-hmm. really. Because, like, I get home, I eat, smoke, go to sleep. Wake up and then it's like I gotta edit or I gotta go to do a podcast or I got a comedy show. So it's like trying to find Both that balance busy. is tough, man. Mm-hmm. It's tough. But it's worth it yeah. in the end, no matter it's what. It's everything I wanna do. So it's not like it's not like I'm ever like dreading it. You yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. So and I'm a morning person. Like those first five minutes is it's the hardest part. Right. Like after getting up. But after those fi- first five minutes are done, I'm good. Mm. I'm super good. Four AM though? Yeah, I'm super good. Shh. 
Yeah. I, I, I only see 4 a.m. to pee. It just sucks that you have to. I have a <laughs> bedtime now. Like, I have to get to bed by this time. What's or your bedtime? My whole Seven. morning's going to be fucked. Like, 7 30. No way. I get to bed like 12. What? <laughs> yeah. That's four hours of sleep. Hey. And that works. So, what happens when you have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys need attention. <laughs> Facts. But uh, actually, never. I'm gonna say. But uh, <laughs> like, we need more than attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no four hours. That's I can't do four hours of sleep. Yeah, I got what five but remember, and I'm a sleeping half in the day as well. Oh, okay. Like, so okay. I'm trying to, like, you come home yeah, and you sleep. I basically, just my life is just naps now. <laughs> okay, okay. So I just I sleep for like three, four hours in the day. Yeah. Then by that time, like twelve, I'll be I'll be able to sleep another four hours and be good. Okay, yeah. So for everyone, oh, also background, people don't know. If you don't know Marlon by Marlon, it's that dude McFly. Mm. And I'm sure people are going to be like, oh, this is, the people don't know that Marlon is Marlon. <laughs> they know him as McFly, that dude McFly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamaican people say, content Toronto people legend. say, content, Toronto content, content legend. legend. So now I'm sure that I've said that people are like, oh, that's oh, that 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 yeah. I'm but, not, um, not going to do my whole spiel again. We've done it like 10 <laughs> times already. Yeah, I do it every time. Like, we're, we're recording. Yes, it's great. Shit Toronto people say, in fact, put us on the map. Yes. Yeah, I feel like. Like there's been at least three or four podcasts. I've done it already. It's getting old. <laughs> He's got enough praise. Marlon did this for me, that yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. We, you guys cool. know. Yeah, worked yeah. with him at this YouTube channel. We go uh, way back. We, n- we never talked about that. <laughs> Do you want to? Yeah, let's let's mind. share the tea. Let's I mean, spill the tea. Like a credit, nigga. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple. I mean, he may be sc- Don't want to scare him too much. <laughs> that guy's a bum, man. I, I don't I don't care. Okay, care to so elaborate? Background, give background people who are not listening. This is not my story. Oh, yeah, who before they were famous together, there's a, a YouTube channel that does bios. Okay. And uh, it was run by this guy, Michael McCrudden. Still is. Yeah. Um, just now out of his basement. Okay. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something um, like that. <laughs> call Spade a Spade. <laughs> Had a studio and I now mean, he's in a basement. Res- I mean, respectfully, in Hamilton, it was okay. I mean, it was at the time it was good because we used. <laughs> Why to did you have to add? <laughs> I gotta add rent. <laughs> gotta add rent. <laughs> People Before. might think it's rent. It's a basement in Toronto. No, no, no. <laughs> It's in Hamilton. A nice twelve hundred. It's crazy that that's what it went to because we used. To, if you've been listening to us for the past two to three years or watching our content, we've switched studio spaces quite a bit we started in Clyde's room then we went to before their famous studios yeah. when you were working there which was great we were definitely grateful then we came here to manifest well I mean we were in the trap house for a little bit there's like <laughs> a couple episodes in the trap yeah there was a buffer there was we a had, we a, had buffer. a buffer of the, of the trap studio and then we came into manifesto um I mean yeah he had a great setup it was a good setup I mean for us it was good you know what I'm saying maybe <laughs> Marlon's so like, what were yeah. the grievances yeah <sighs> where do I begin Oof. First of all, he fired me on my birthday. Mm. That was oh. that, so crazy. That's really mean. And it was out of nowhere with no yeah. warning. Like, no, is that allowed? I feel like, is it labor board? I don't know. Was it even worth the labor fight, you think? Labor board with YouTube? Well, I mean, he's I a business. Know. Regardless. He called me in on my birthday and fired me. Why would you call me? Like, just call I wasn't me on even the working. phone. I wasn't even supposed to work that day, I don't think. I remember coming <laughs> so in So he like said, a Marlon, can late. you come in? Yeah. And then you said, why? No. Oh, you just said, okay, cool. Yeah. And then he fired you. Yeah. Jesus. Just tell me over the phone, gang. Facts. So I got, you know, what was, was your reaction? Were you just like, all right, bet? Or were you yeah. just like, what the I was like, all right, bet. Word. Because it's like, first of all, working there was interesting, to say the least. Like, um, you're turning out three or four videos a day mm-hmm. in terms of like reading scripts and whatnot. And they're being rushed. They're not being fact checked. They're not being mm. confirmed. And so you end up probably saying some things that you just found on the internet. Right, mm-hmm. and that's not necessarily factual information, and then so a lot of the times the bio will be like, "Oh, they make approximately this much or this much, or they allegedly did this and that." I'm like, and then they see it, and then they message you personally. Like, oh, I got into, that you I got into a hot, a heated debate with uh, Super Hot Fire over a video. I I did a bio of him. I'm like, I didn't even write that. That one. wasn't even the like the the the. The, sh- the poo shiesty mm. stuff. Mm. Mm. Poo shiesty. Poo shiesty like, was on I'm your hands. Oh, I'm interviewing Shucky Poo shiesty and Poo shiesty's pressing me. Poo shiesty's about pressing some you. Shit I'll that never they forget. Did. I'll never forget that. That's one man I would not want to get pressed by. Oh my god. That nigga was unimpressed at nine in the morning, smoking a blunt. Looked like he just woke up. Y'all and he's playing with me. Like, he's pressing me <laughs> Damn. over some shit they did, <laughs> and it's like. They do things that I'd, and this is the reason why he fired me. It wasn't because I did anything wrong or wasn't doing my job. It's simply because I wasn't going to just let things happen and mm. not say something about it. And mm. ask Clyde every day. I'm like, you guys can't do that. <laughs> and like, you can't take someone's you picture were two of the worst and things. put a black eye on them 
Then oh. they don't have a black guy. Take their tooth out and say they got jumped. And then when you do the story, it was a rumor that they got jumped. Yeah. That's not how, that's not how this works. You can get sued for that. Right. That is libel. That is defamation. Which? <laughs> listen. Damn. Listen. Yeah. You I don't mean, hear must feel. Yeah, I feel like it's some stuff simple. had to have been done on purpose. I, I think they did the video well, of Duke Dennis and the pictures they were posting weren't even him. Yeah, yeah. And, that, that, <laughs> and then he watched it and he's like, who is that? <laughs> they gaslight <guess, laughs> like, guess, like, the very people that they're Well, then that, they just want to generate views, right? That's how yeah. they make their money. I remember money. you, clickbait. you yeah. did the Aiden Ross exactly. video, I remember, and he reacted to it. I remember him just like, I'm not from Colorado, like all these different things. Like, yeah. Mm, and, uh, it, I insane. mean, hey, man. Got that were, the idol. You Ooh, were two wee. of the worst things, <laughs> black and a voice. And they didn't like it. That's what happens. Yeah. If you're I just can't do that. Yeah, because nobody, no, like the white people that talk don't get pressed. Only us. No. Yeah. That's what I told him. Because I'm like, you guys are doing this, but I'm the one that's going to have to deal with this. Yeah. I'm the main host of the, of the channel. Yeah. And I'm black. Like, you guys are, they're not going to bug you. Mm -hmm. It's me that they're going to come to. Mm -hmm. and, and you're the face. And I'm the face. And you have a name so for yourself. So they don't yourself. even know you guys are the ones putting this together. They're going to think it's all me. Mm -hmm. Especially if I'm the one reading the script. Yeah. It's like, it made no sense. So, mm. yeah. I Damn. was happy I got out of this situation. That's you know, fair. much better situation, too. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, now so. you're the host of Toronto's number one black radio station. Yes, yeah. like, I think, like, what a full circle and thing. And it's like, funny because... Where we were doing these rushed-ass videos. I'm yeah. editing, writing, doing all these things in one day. Like, we're doing topics. Worked so us we're like We're inventing dogs, stories man. and stuff. Things yeah. that didn't even happen. And it's like, for the way that it ended and, like, where... It end like where we're at now. I I'm I'm happy. How did it end for you? <laughs> Similar. It wasn't yeah. my birthday, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no no like no warning. Just I, out I of warned the sky. you though. Yeah, I told you the writing's hey, on the wall. He comes for you. Yeah. I told him. I was like, listen, it's gonna it's gonna happen to you next, man. Because this is a sinking block, ship. Buddy. And I mean, like the viewership that we have with like this type of show versus what's going on. I I'm not gonna contract, but yeah. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really yeah. good about exactly. what uh, the decisions of where I, where I ended up in contact. He just liked the he just liked the interview I did yesterday. I'm like, why are you on my page, bro? <laughs> you don't even follow me. <laughs> he liked the Ziggy Marley interview. I'm like, yeah, uh, I bet you do like it. <laughs> that could have been that could have been your interview. Yeah, it's interesting how Damn. people just unfortunately shit the bed. But it's funny because before you and Ace announced that. You guys were the new hosts of Flow 98.7. I have Flow 98.7, like, set to my radio. So whenever I start my car, it's the first thing that comes on. And I remember driving one day, and it was like, oh, like, Canada's, or Toronto's number one black station. I'm like, damn, they say black station? Like, that was new. They never used to say black yeah. station. Yeah, no, we And I was like, whoa. I'm like, that's a big statement. And then a couple of days later, y'all were like, surprise! <laughs> new, and I was like, okay. So yeah. now we're really into it. And for background, people who don't know or are not from Toronto who are listening, black Music and black radio in Toronto is in the gutter. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, uh, we have non existent. Uh, also, with like the Canadian laws and like only being allowed to play a certain amount or a percentage of Canadian music, we don't hear shit on the radio. Yeah. Shit that we want to hear. So, it's good that you guys are pushing it to get to a place where, yeah, because I mean, the States. In the U.S., they have so many radio stations. Yeah. I mean, the Breakfast Club is huge, serious is huge. They have like such they a have variety, crazy variety. Yeah. So it, it's just, it's very weird that Canada and Toronto just doesn't like the money is there. I don't get it. Like the viewership is also there. Like Canada's Dwight, just not a place that takes quote unquote risks. And it's everything weird. that everything that is outside of the norm of what they've already done is a risk. Yeah. And it's like no, this is called evolution mm -hmm. it's not a risk it's mm -hmm. evolving it's growing with the times do you watch the office i've not every episode have but you I've watched the office any guys I've, yeah religious like the second okay. the, the not the like the, not US, the british like, one no, no yeah. the u.s the office yeah, 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 yeah. do you remember when dwight is trying to start i think he's trying to start like the the workout company or something mm, like that and yeah. he was like the marketing is you get the black people to do it so everybody does it. <laughs> then you get the black people to stop doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is literally marketing. Yeah. That's yeah. literally marketing. Got the black people on board. They're going to hype it up. They're going to tell their friends. They're going to all, you know, do it. Then they get white people on board, but then get black people to stop doing it. Yeah. And that's how fashion works. That's how that's a how lot of artists works. Work. That's how music it's works. Nature. That's how Justin Timberlake works. <laughs> but they have to shame us for it first. <laughs> yes. They have to shame them. us for Miley it. Miley Cyrus isn't black anymore. My, that's the thing. Ariana Grande Miley isn't Cyrus. black anymore. Ariana Grande, Justin oh, Timberlake. They have the nigger face. Yeah. See, but Justin my, Bieber. A, I always fall on two sides of that. 
Do you guys think that it's um, them getting out of a phase or them listening? Because I was talking about this with Bobby Eltoff, right? Mm -hmm. People really get at this girl for interviewing rappers. Um, they don't understand. They call their industry plant. They don't understand. She grew a following way before any of this mm -hmm. shit, and she's leveraged that following to do this podcast now. Right. And obviously, she started with rappers or whatnot. And then we repeatedly were like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Black people are like repeatedly, like, "Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this?" Then the minute she did it, she's like, "See, use the black people, then discarded them." It's like, what do you guys? Mm -hmm. What do we want? Do we want her to stop or do you want her to not stop and you guys continue to shit on her? Nobody right. knows what they want. They don't know what they want. You know what I mean? It's like That's fair. if she doesn't stop, she's a vulture. If she stops, she used, she used us and us. discarded us. Right, right, right. You, you can't win. It's a crazy catch 22. And Justin Timberlake had his tiny desk. And I listen, I loved it. Musically, I fucking love Justin Timberlake. I think he's an amazing singer. I think he makes great music. I well, used to. I'll say that. I used I loved his I old think his music. album he has some bangers on there. Which Couple. one? The just most recent one? Yeah, he just dropped an album like the one where he's in the woods with the week? banjo? No. Oh. He's okay. Dropped I, was about he last dropped week? I haven't one heard it. After that? He just dropped an album on Friday. Oh, I didn't even know. After that. the tiny uh, desk, yeah. Oh, word. I didn't know. Yeah. So the tiny desk was promo for the new album. Yeah. yeah. That was terrible because I didn't even know there was a new album. Oh wow. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people talking about it saying it's better than Usher's. And our earlier like this is the album Usher should have dropped. No. That's what a lot of people are saying. I heard a lot of people didn't really like Usher's album like that. And I don't understand it. I think Usher got bangers on there. I, he has bangers. I don't think it's a good album in totality, mm -hmm. but he has good songs. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. He has good songs on there. That McDonald's like, that's not, one? That was terrible. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why would you put that on there? Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> shit was horrible. I used to get it. What do you say? I you get made a McDonald's it. Big, <laughs> like, big Macs and McDonald's. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Nigga, is this a brand placement? <laughs> I don't know why Usher did that, but it's but yeah. Anyway, so uh, Justin Timberlake, a clip released where who is that very big black uh, journalist? I wrote Phil Phil something Philip something. Oh, he's that on Twitter. guy, the guy who always he's like out yeah, links. he's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Anyway, so he put out a link Justin Timberlake's tiny desk and he's performing until the end of time. That's my fi one of my favorite R and B songs ever. I'll call it R and B. The, the duet with Beyonce is. 1,200,000 out of 10. She bodied Such an amazing shit. song. So I'm like, bro, I love this song. This is amazing, blah, blah, blah. Rebecca, shout out Rebecca Dawn, hit me in the Twitter, was like, girl, like, Justin Timberlake using black people. And I'm like, yeah, I, I see it. I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? He did, get you know. Get over people. <laughs> Come on. These are hits. Like, <laughs> like, these, these are, are hits. bangers. Not you every day, like Reese. Yeah. <laughs> and also, like, what do we really, like... You don't Not really care. Day. You don't. You don't really you care. You need something to be mad at. Like, that's this a is lot your of catalyst. Things. Before we found out he was a piece of shit to Britney, it was, and before he did that Man in the Woods album, like, people really got mad at him for doing that album. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah that's for what sure. it was. Yeah. Because if he had done another album like he normally does, it would have gotten some pushback just because of the climate we're in now. But he would have been fine. And, like, the thing is, nobody gave a fuck when he was originally doing the music. Mm hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's now that we're in this woke society. Yeah. Everyone's like, "Oh, you use black people," but before yeah. you guys are like, uh, "No, people don't care about body. nothing." Like, <laughs> <"Sing right. your laughs> that's I'm the thing. Like, if it's you. good, then it's just kind of like if journals was bad, we would probably talk about Bieber the same if way. None right? of the black, like, if, if I ever heard of a black person saying, "I wasn't paid my wage," I haven't received royalties, mm -hmm. I wasn't paid for this sample or that, or th then I'm, I understand, like. Sure, he's using them, but everyone seems to be very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Timberland is very happy. <laughs> Timberland is happy. <laughs> happy as shit. Smiling. Splendid. So it's like, I don't understand yeah, it. Like, do you really care? Like, that's why, and I don't know if this is a hot take too, but I feel like when people get mad at people who aren't black that like wear braids, it's like. No. Nah. To me. That's no, I get that, the sentiment. Different. No, I get the sentiment. But what are you going to do right now? If that man has a braid up, exactly. Why are you and mad about it? What are you in gonna, person either? What are you? Sorry, have you, and no one's gonna say anything in person. Oh, either. I have. What are you, you gonna tell him? You take out, out your braids right now in person and said, "Why do you have braids?" Yeah. Why? Because but what's, why? What's the why did you do that though? But my thing is, why'd you do that though? When, if a black, <laughs> did you know that? When black, I knew of them. Like, you know, like, you know, like, you, you know, there's someone's friend, someone's friend. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, like, interesting that you, you heard. They how did you decide? I was like, why did you get, like, why did you get braids? That's how it started? Yeah. 
like off top. Yeah. Like I saw her in the bathroom. Like, yo, so why? Like, why do you get box braids? And they, and, <laughs> and they said, said, oh, I like it. And, and then you said, said, but like, why? Like, are you trying to like? It's usually like. What like what is the like is it is a protective style like did you go on vacation like what did he say something that made you go it oh he, never thought of it that it oh, was a woman okay. no nothing because to me I see it as braids right are a protective style for black women usually mm-hmm. but not even usually it is a protective style right mm-hmm. if you can't you know managing your natural hair like it gets hard as I a think black if white woman, people so want to do- rip out their edges we should just let them <laughs> yeah like, I think we should but just my let thing them. is if a white girl has braids and this is a thing with a lot of black if a white girl has braids oh my god it's so cool you on a vacation but if a black girl has braids it's oh like it's unprofessional. I've never seen anyone praise a white girl with braids. Oh, what? Vogue didn't Vogue put out an article where it yeah, was like publications, but I yeah. mean like everyday people. Well, no, because we're we know. If I see you with braids, I'm like, oh, you came from Jamaica. <laughs> That's what I was yeah. saying. Was it how how close in proximity was this woman to a vacation recently? You know, she said she just wanted to get she braids. Just wanted she wanted it, but, but me, yeah, because it's like, it's like don't, if you want to look stupid, go ahead. Yeah, what does that have dumb. to do with? They don't and look also, good. Also, I understand if like. Because I completely get how when black women do it, it's deemed as unprofessional. And if white people do it, people don't care. But white people stopping is not going to make it more acceptable for y'all. It's not like it's a scale that's tipping. If white people stop wearing braids, that doesn't mean that people are going to stop saying that it's unprofessional for black women. I would argue it's the opposite. Like The more white people do it, the more normalized it would get. But black women have been doing it for years. But we know yeah. who we know who moves the like social scale, which is crazy. Too. Yeah. So if so if it's like they Travis stop- Kelsey inventing the fade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Drake <laughs> been doing that whole hairstyle like years ago. What was the nothing was the same times or views or something like that? Didn't he no. have that views. whole fade with the goatee and? Shit? Yeah. I've yeah. always speculated though, like who invented if, the lineup in fade? Like who was the first dude? Because you know, definitely you, someone black. Go watch some Has 80s basketball yeah. highlights. I feel like, like African people are lining each other up with like. Yeah, that's you know no, I, mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't what? know. You don't think it was like when, did it, when did it come out though? When did the lineup that we all have like when? Because it wasn't like that in like the yeah, early nineties. Yeah, who's That's the fa- who's the who's foundation the lining? of the lineup? The base in lineup. the nineties they had lineups. They did. Well, they had high top. Yeah, okay, they yeah. didn't lined up. In the eighties, so, they damn sure. Did. That, in Afros, the eighties, they did not. Yeah, eighties, they would be twenty four in the NBA with a fucking cul de sac. Like <laughs> just, that was yeah. just to see the Uncle Phil. That like, was the only unrealistic thing about winning times. That niggas were all mad lined up. So, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you're right, you're right, right. Way too good. Or if yeah, anyone yeah. had the big, big afros, there was never a lineup. Of course yeah, not. No. So I wonder, yeah, where, how, when, and how in did the, the lineup? Hair too? has gone through so many phases. Like I remember, there in the late eighties or mid eighties, women were getting mustaches. Like, I beg that was your a pardon. Thing. Yeah, elaborate. You can look it up. There was women like that was a trend for women to have mustaches. Where? In the world. <laughs> Like line, yeah. like they would like like groom it and stuff. Yeah, that yeah. is so like sick. That's like, crazy. I, I don't know if it was like from the feminist movement or what, but there was a time when that was a little thing. For like it a just year shows or two. that humans can just normalize anything. Anything, like anything, is just normal. Yeah, yeah. like if women on mustaches be like, oh, what's wrong? Like. Or any of the most abnormal shit that like we think is crazy. If everyone was doing it, you'd think it's fine. Only yeah. fans, you know. <laughs> Only. <laughs> That's what we're it's not normal. I mean, it's not normal. Is selling your feet really, or selling your feet pictures, is it really sex work? The distribution. Yes. Karuchi would argue. Yep. Niggas are niggas are jerking. Uh, the distribution of adult feet. content yep. is as old as the days. Like, but that's all a very... she's doing is posting her feet. There's no sexual content on the page. She's just that posting is sexual her... content on the page. It's 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 sexually implied. Exactly. Why? It's just my feet. But because you know what you people know are doing to on, your feet. I don't know that. People are just willing to pay for it, and it's my feet. That's being purposely obtuse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you what she's saying. I know. but, that, <laughs> but like being she, extremely naive. Yeah. <laughs> That's and insane. you're posting it on a site that has a sexual connotation <laughs> to it. You're not just posting it. No, OnlyFans on, is not just for uh, sex workers. Why does she put it on Chefs Patreon? Chefs are on OnlyFans. <laughs> Personal <laughs> trainers are on OnlyFans. Make a private yeah. Snapchat then. Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Make your own make anything. your own website and put it on your website. Facts. You Karufi. get more of a cut. You cut cut out the middleman completely. <laughs> Karufi. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Karufi. Yeah, man. I just feel like a it's a slippery slope of like I don't like that. That's why even if my girl was like, yo, I want to do I just feel like we're so feet. sexually charged over here. Like I went to Dubai for a week mm-hmm. and was completely Cut off from anything sexual. Well, you can get arrested for even like yeah doing. Anything but even just their algorithms, like mm. oh, like, your TikTok. Mm. You're not seeing nobody twerk. You're not seeing mm. none of that. Mm. You can't go on porn. Like you literally cannot search porn. Like the Wi-Fi. Why? Like will they just come on? Yeah, it's it blocked. Like the server does not allow you to even go on. Porn. 
how TikTok's about to be. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That's okay, why you sometimes that. you'll see like, I remember I have this one video on my YouTube uh, called Parents Caught Having Sex. Probably one of the worst videos ever made. It is the most viewed video I've ever made. I've ever made because of the thumbnail. First of all, it's my boy um, in a position with a girl and they're like under the sheets or whatever. And then in the video, there's like, they're simulating having sex, right? And so if you check the retention time, Oh my God! Spike. It's literally in between that one period of him pretending to have sex. Spike, huge spike. Huge oh my spike. God! And yeah. then when you look at the side, <laughs> the top views are the view are from countries that don't allow. Mm. So like India is number one. That's interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow! So they and they're searching. jerking off to this YouTube video for sure. <laughs> That's the closest they there's can no, get. There's no, if I show you guys a video, there's no reason this video should be number one <laughs> at all. Yeah. It's got more views than shit Toronto people say. Like, really? It's, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, actually, that's Other than happens. they're jerking their piece to it. <laughs> Timothy De La Ghetto's most viewed video, I think it's called Nip Slip, and it's him wearing a wig, but you can't see his face. You see like the bottom of his face, and he's like pulling out his nipple. But, like, from afar, it kind of looks like a girl. His oh, old videos, with the, if he kept the thumbnails on them, they would have went crazy right now. Because crazy. he used to post videos, and his thumbnail would be girls like tits, like a cleavage, or, like, anime titties, or oh whatever. Because that's what a lot of people were doing on YouTube at mm. that time. There was, yeah. no, there was no rules like that. So, yeah. Can't do however that you no can more. get people yeah. to click on it, is how you can get people to click on it. Wow. And once they're there, that's how you try to keep them there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like North America, yeah, we're very hyper over. You're like the loophole sexual. for sexually frustrated countries where they can't. Yeah. That's, cr- that's wild. It, it blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. I went to look at the back <laughs> analytics. I'm like, Yo, Ew. India, some wild boys. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder what that life would be like if just the, tomorrow the government was like, yeah, all websites banned. I think it's a lot What's better. Gonna, probably because be like, I, I would even so being in Dubai, key. like me and my girl over there and... Like, not once did I feel like punching a guy in the face or, like, mm. why is that guy looking calm. at my girl or anything? Like, none of that. It was super respectful. And, like, obviously, over there, you have to dress a little bit more modest as well. Mm-hmm. So it's like you're not seeing that. And I feel like subconsciously that does something to you when you are constantly seeing something sexual. I remember when I, the day I unfollowed all the Instagram girls. I'm like, why am I following women that don't follow me back? Like this, I'm a groupie, right? Like <laughs> that's essentially what I. It am. gets to a point, especially when you're following girls with blue checks. Is like, yeah. what am I doing? <laughs> Fashion over codes do. all down my fucking timeline. Yeah, like right. I don't see this shit. Yeah. So and, uh, when I unfollowed that, like I found myself like thinking about that kind of stuff less and less. Like it's really what you take in. Mm. It really I is. Agree. That's why I stopped using Twitter. That's why I don't listen to it's rap dark. as much as I used to. Really? I, yeah. I, I feel you on that. Interesting. I stopped. I don't listen to rap as much as I used to. I feel like it really was doing something to so me. So do like, you guys believe in censorship then? Or like things should be removed? No. Like, nah. No. Okay. You should have the choice if you want to look at it. should have the choice, but I feel like people should choose to be more. <laughs> more okay, so it's an us problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. It needs sure. to exist, and human nature needs to be able to know how to moderate that. Like, Everything yeah. is content okay. these days. Yeah. 100%. And that's the problem. And yeah. people don't know how to separate. now. What? Your pussy's content now. <laughs> People are putting up pum pum content. Like Season one, we would have made that the episode name. 100%. <laughs> That's a fact. But you know where the unfollowing all the Instagram models? Because I did that too. I think the creation of the Explore page mm. stopped all that because you don't need to follow these girls to see them. If, if even yeah. if if that's what you like, that's your bag. If but you like also, looking at them, that also depends on what you like because the Explore page is a reflection of your algorithm. And yeah, you and if you like in. looking yeah. at these type of girls, they'll they'll be on your Explore page. Yeah, you wouldn't exactly. even have to follow them. Exactly. So I feel like from when you're like young and you just follow all the baddies that you see, when you get older and you're like. Why am I not following that? Especially when I was younger, it was like, oh, they'll see this. They'll see it's these like likes. it's like a glimmer. You know what it is? And I feel like men everywhere know this. And if Main you're lying, syndrome. you think like if you're lying, if you say no, you're lying. Sometimes dudes will follow a girl or like a baddie or like she has a million followers. She follows 150 people and you follow her. And in like the back, back, 
back of your mind, you have like a small glimmer of hope that like maybe she'll see me. That's male maybe be, that's she'll male follow me back. <laughs> we are main character syndrome. We have we are, we're, we're seed planners though too. Yeah. Like that's kind of just how it is. we niggas will, niggas will be strategic with it. Like I, <laughs> I remember niggas used to go to like the first picks. Like. And like those, or like send a comment on one of those. It's like it's a nasty. And game the main here. character syndrome is so bad to the point where it's like dudes are su- shooting the most reckless shots. Yeah. Where it's like there's no way you even thought that was gonna go in. They they do, they do. Like you genuinely thought that. Like I saw something Self yesterday. Is a Forty-five gift, foot <laughs> faded fade away contested shot. Behind Doesn't matter. Head. Self-awareness I'll is a the gift, next one. Bro, I saw something you. yesterday. This girl posted some video with like her ass showing, and then one of the dudes commented, "Come bounce that over here." Oh, and I was like, "Did you think that she's gonna see that and be like, you know what? I will I come bounce that over there." <laughs> <laughs> like that will never work, bro. Ever in life. <laughs> You'd be surprised at some of the things that men say that they think. And my, my thing is, you wouldn't say it if you don't think it was going to work in some capacity. That's I feel true. like a, the biggest problem with men is not thinking about how many other men are saying the same thing you're saying. Yeah. Mm. Like you think you're so goddamn original. You think you're so original, and it's like you're not. Like, no. That's why catcalling is wild. It's like it, 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 you don't think what you're saying is going to like get her to stop and turn today? around. It's like, but you have to embrace that. What are that. you fulfilling, though? Like, what is the void that you're, like, what, what are you getting out you of that? You have to embrace you know? that you're not unique at first, and then just, like, it's got to be luck of the draw. Because if, if you're, if she's a baddie, yeah. and tw- 10 mans are like, hey, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Yo, what's up? Mm-hmm. You're all saying the same thing, but where do you go from there? Yeah. Right. That next thing is the next thing that is going to determine. The intro line is the intro line. It's whatever. I emoji, whatever you want to do. Me, what I think is more of a, I'll reply to you a got, story. You got to reply to the oh, story. That's brother. how you get story. Yeah. On something that's not like sexual, like something that's not just to have a normal conversation. First. This guy gets it. <laughs> <laughs> just to have a normal conversation first. A lot of guys try to like turn something normal into something sexual. Yeah, yeah. and it's like, all right, it doesn't Your temperature work. checking. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's or like, they, or they try to like start off of something sexual, like you. You can't temperature check too early. You just have to be normal for a, for a yeah, good while. It's weird, you can't. But also, I feel like there's sometimes where a lot of guys are just trolling. Like mm. you don't really think that this girl is gonna respond to you. Like you're just you're just saying this just to say to it. get it off your chest. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and I've done that before. I'm not gonna act like I've never done that. I've I've trolled once, and after that, I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> to a, and it wasn't even here to like. Yeah, this, and okay. it wasn't even anything bad. Like I just said something that. I thought was funny, yeah. but I knew wasn't gonna work. <laughs> and she responded, but I'm like, now I can't speak you to this. You girl expect from her here. to respond? Nah, I didn't even think she was gonna see it. No, I didn't even. I didn't even think she was. I didn't even think she was gonna see it, but she saw it and she responded. Mm. And I was like, I can't even take this anywhere. Like, yeah. I already shot myself in the foot. The worst thing that I've experienced is DMing someone who is way out of my caliber. Like, literally as a joke. It doesn't exist and for them a woman. Responding. It doesn't exist for girls. I my jaw hit. No such so thing as out of your caliber for girls. He yeah. was. It doesn't exist. If you're a good-looking girl, there's no such thing. My jaw it was on exist. the floor when I saw him respond. What makes you think he's out, he's out, of, he's ca- out of your caliber? <laughs> Just, like, famous? He was famous. It doesn't matter. That doesn't and matter? Career-wise, yeah. obviously. How many booths that- have you been in, Zoe? I mean- <laughs> Did you know these niggas? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> How many tell cons- them their mom's name. How many concerts <laughs> have you been to for free? <laughs> like, do you know who paid for that ticket? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> You've been in niggas' house. You met that night. <laughs> to oh, party, damn. party. Who's party? I don't know. Drake's uh, one God. of these people. <laughs> you don't know that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> You've been in his house bare times, don't know. As far him. as we know, you've never met. <laughs> you've never met the nigga. You've been in his house bare times. Yeah. That's just not a thing for women. Yeah. I guess. And all you are is just one conversation away. That's it. I guess. I, I never. I always thought it was like, yo, why the hell did he respond to my message? And what the hell am I going to say now? See, and I always wonder, do women now look at that guy differently? I look at him different. So look, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. You know, not sick. in a bad way. Not in a bad How way. How do you view yourself? <laughs> as you view? Yeah, I'm <laughs> not in a bad sick. way, but no, guy, it was shocked. This was like what? Like, what a couple years ago? <laughs> like, you can do way better you, than me. I don't know why you're entertaining this shit. Why did you answer me? But also, that's, that's real. I, I, I but, you know no. what I mean? Like, to funny. me, I'm like, okay, he's never going to, he has like X million followers. He's never going to see this. So I woke up this morning and I saw his name. I said, what the fuck? But also, like, about how many women are thinking. 
thinking that so. same thing and not sending the message. I guess. So then you end up being one of the only ones actually sending the message. But That's also, wild to me, yo. like, these guys are, they're still just guys. Yeah, yeah. you're right. No, you're right. Like, and they have a lot just, more downtime than normal people. You're yeah. still just yeah. a guy. <laughs> they're sitting there just scrolling through that hidden, hidden <laughs> DM and just Word. going, all right, let's see what we I got today. Like, and oh I feel God. like guys probably check the, like, general and request and hidden way more than girls do. I thought you said you didn't I know, know there was a hidden section. I think women would be afraid to check the request section. My hidden section is nuts. Penis in there. Nuts. When I <laughs> first saw my hidden, I was like, yo, what the hell's going on in here? Some guys are so ruthless, they just said Just penis. send the penis. That's crazy. That's like, off Like, it. there's no way that's going to work. That's never worked, ever. Gay guys have tried it with me. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just send Sending you. Over dick. the years, at least, like, three different guys have tried just. Just, they open, cold open with that. Cold open, dick. Damn. And what do you, do you even respond? <laughs> dick cold open, huh? That's do you even crazy. respond? Fuck no. What do you say to a dick? <laughs> what am I responding? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> what, am I? Nah. I had what did you mean yo, by wrong that? Yo, bro. <laughs> like, what am I saying? That's never happened to me, but I've definitely had gay dudes ask me if I was down. Have you ever yeah. had gay famous guys that you didn't know were gay hit on you? No. Dog. No, oh, ooh, my ooh. God. I'm not naming names. Oh, are they out? Of, oh, okay. I don't they're know not if they're out, out or not. Okay, fair, I, fair, so fair, I'm not yeah, even yeah. just going to go down that road. That's but don't. Bruh. So then you got to like talk to a nigga thing is, hey, what up, dog? What's good, dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, so you dating any? What, <laughs> sir? Yeah. So the Hollywood rituals are sir. real. That that stuff be crazy, bro. There was one time when I think some sort of you know how there used to be pages like baddie pages and oh, yeah. stuff like that. I think six like baddies. Yeah, oh, like God. six angels. Six angels. <laughs> so gross. I um, heard a girl say that that's an ick if I a can't guy if you. a guy that they're talking to or like six follows six yeah, like one of those baddie ick. pages. It is an ick. That's I ick? agree. It's an ick. Why is it an no, ick? No, I agree. Why are you following that? But well, you guys, I, how do people view Instagram? Because and what, for the, me, what <laughs> makes a page that like is mucho reference? What is Bayesian to? That is that like, like Bayesian to the one where it's all the the the. Dan- like the dancing, it's all festival dances. Oh, stuff. Bay, Bay oh. Paid or something like that. The Bay West tings? Indian, yeah, Bay Tings. Bay Tings, mm. yeah. I, it, that's all dancing, cultural dancing, but it's all, like, I feel like it's... It's really know. not, it's about ass on there, for the most part. <laughs> but my thing is, like, it's Girls a straight guy, what do you want to do? No, listen. These are our new King magazines. <laughs> like, this, that's, that's what a, Instagram is. It's like, Playboy. It's, it, it's Instagram a magazine. Instagram is King Magazine King now, Playboy. or Playboy? Yeah, girls, I they mean, don't I want hear us, that. Buddy. Like, I don't, I feel like if it's, like, if you're mad, then like every IG baddie's like, it's like, damn. That like, used to be me still, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that was me for sure. <laughs> Chazora too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a few notorious <laughs> so food so niggas we've been on. It's like, yeah. yo. Like, like, you're gonna see Oh, the- you here too? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh you know, my you're God. both puffed up later. Like, hey, it was a content making strategy. We have to get followers. See, what my like, thing is, my thing is, and I've said it time and time again, first of all, Instagram is not serious to me. I'll like and At scroll. All. Mm-hmm. I don't think about my likes. I'm not calculating. I'm not my investing likes. in it. I'm not thinking. Oh, I like this. She's gonna listen. message me back. Like, exactly. Listen. Second. Second of all, I don't mm-hmm. care. If I was, if I'm single, why are you, as a girl who's not my girl, telling me that I should not be in I other could girls' give a likes? Fuck. I don't care. <laughs> listen. Not, and this is what I'll say. When I when I, and we talked about this. When it comes to liking, that's what Instagram is for. Like, if my man's liking photos, I I generally do not care. There's mm. so many. You guys like my photos. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's whatever. You like mm. fo- Instagram is for liking. That's why we're here. Yeah. To, it's engagement. But there's certain things that, especially when, like, stories. the stories, yeah. it's, it's not the action of the liking. It's how the girls take it. How, but and, but and how do you that? control that? No, you just, just don't do it. It's the way women <laughs> just don't do it because yes. women might perceive it. Uh, so now we shouldn't dress uh, a certain uh, way because we might get... No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Victim blaming. Oh, please. Oh, please. It is not the same. Blaming, it huh? is not the same. But it's the way that women take things and perceive things and turn it into, like, it's, it's not even worth the stress. Sounds it's like you literally guys need not, to do some inner work. Yeah. I don't have a problem. To me, she's like, bro, but you know, Heal. like, the amount of women who are like, oh, you know. I think it should depend on a man's in- situation. Like, if a man's in a relationship, you should know that that, like, is not trying to invest in something unless he verbally says he's trying to invest in something with mm. you further. If it if 
it's a single guy, then yeah, why you should definitely think that I, for sure. Yeah. But if someone's in a relationship and they're liking your story, I don't think your first thought should be, oh, he's cheating. He no, he's, no. He wants to fuck. That's not my first thought. But I'm telling you, I would say maybe like seven out of ten women are thinking your man's trying to fuck me. That's crazy. I'm telling you. I that is crazy. Telling and you, you know what I especially with the liking posts, like Especially now with the whole carousel Girls thing. Girls love validation. Sometimes I'm not even oh. liking you. you. Bro. Sometimes oh, it's something yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. in the carousel so, and yeah. I liked out of instinct because I saw something I liked. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. also. And now it's like, oh no, you liked. These are the conversations. <laughs> or also, sometimes I it, the first photo, fo- because I don't even usually scroll. Mm. If the first photo is just you smiling, oh, it's a nice picture, like. But if it's just your ass on the fourth slide, I didn't see that. Yeah. So now yeah. people are trying to think yeah. that I like that. I didn't like that. I didn't even see Sometimes that. Sometimes you don't even get to the end of the carousel. Exactly. So it's like whatever's in there is in there. So that's not my fault, bro. It should, it should show your like as it was this. liked on this picture. Like this. <laughs> Every slide, it should change the likes. Oh, that would actually be crazy That'd to see good. what Facts. like people actually like. Versus- you see, yeah, you see what people actually like in your carousel. And now you, if you're a content person, it's like, oh, I'm not going to be including that type of shit anymore mm, or whatever yeah like. interesting but it's funny it some because some of the stuff you like and you don't even remember i remember recently it was probably like last month andy sent me this and i don't know how he's like what's it. with andy yeah oh. andy sent me a voice note just laughing like you know when you press <laughs> yeah. play and it's just someone <laughs> yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he <laughs> sent me a voice note just laughing and i'm like bro what's funny he's Those like my yo favorites. <laughs> what are you doing here and he sent me a picture from like 2019 <laughs> of some girl, and it's literally just ass. Like, yo. But I'm like, oh, yo. You like the photo. And I'm Dear like, yo, God. I don't know. Bro. Yeah, I can't your, explain your, that, your, but I'm like, let me just. One of your boys likes on something crazy? Yeah. It's okay. funny, though, but I get it. Because when you just see them there, it's hilarious. <laughs> or when, when it's like, it's see like see seeing somebody in a sex clinic. You're here, too. <laughs> like, like, you when, have you ever like, seen like. Like porn on like your Twitter page, and then you go like you click the profile and you see so many mutuals. Like yo, why are y'all following this damn page? Yo. That's yo, crazy oh, to me. I have people like, I on lie. Twitter. That's nuts. Yo, to on Twitter, there's a bunch people of that still retweet Twitter you're like, porn. Mess? Yo, you're like, following every you're Twitter deviant. page. <laughs> y'all niggas are deviants. Yo, there's certain guys go on a girl's page, and uh, that nigga's always there in the mutuals. You're like, brother. <laughs> Brother. That brother starving. Yeah. yeah. See, but I hear be- you about the, I don't know why that's a thing too, like the clinic thing. You could be going just for a routine, routine checkup, checkup and you feel shame. Like yeah. you don't want anyone to see you. Don't you don't feel shame sunglasses. because people need to get tested. Yeah, so you definitely still go. But that's no, why but you know when you see someone there, they're, they're I would go. Their own conclusions. Yeah, like where someone's walking by the window and they're like, Especially if someone has a preconceived notion about you already. Yeah, they're like, oh, like, I, knew it. Whore, I knew it. I knew it. For yeah. sure. I, I knew it. Knew it. I fucking knew it. But y'all go to clinics. Why don't you just go to your doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just go to your doctor instead of going to clinics? Who has time for that? What? Clinics way closer. And my doctor's in Whitby. And it's way closer. What? Why is your doctor in Whitby? Because my girl works there. I don't even have a family oh, wow. doctor. <laughs> you need to get one. You're an adult. <laughs> yeah, you need you a need to get a family so, doctor. Once my family left, I haven't gone back. This is the truth, brother. Plus, <laughs> plus you need a family the doctor. doctor is to prevent things, not to cure things. Yeah, no, thank you. No, thank I go you. to the doctor, but if I go, I just go to like a walk. Oh, bar. okay. I but see, now your records are going to be scattered. Yeah, like I go the to the same walk. You want, you want to go to a place where your documentation will show a record and a history so that you can, yeah. especially, especially with AI coming out, they're going to digitize <laughs> all those records yeah. eventually. What they should make is like a Facebook profile. For everybody's oh. medical records. Mm. With everything that's happened to you, then the AI be like, yo, this may happen because of all this shit that's mm. happened. Like honestly, they're doing AI at my doctor's office now because I had to like sign like a I guess like a confidentiality or like a acceptance form. And like when you talk when I talk to the doctor about whatever's going on, A like there's like a listening that will like make notes. So she doesn't have to sit there and make notes. Yeah. There's AI oh, like the that listens. Bond, like the yeah. Like, okay. Thing. Like I'm feeling this, this, and this, or I'm paying in all here. Parts of that is society. nuts to me. Yeah. I'm like, yo, y'all are on that type of tip now. Life's going to be very different in five years. I'm scared. Very, very different. I'm very scared. You're seeing all these sectors just get rid of people like yeah. nonstop. And people are like, oh, it's the economy. Kind of. But it's also like, we don't need you to do that job anymore. Why do I need a copywriter? I just asked ChatGPT. Yeah. They That's got AI nuts. for podcasts now. Chop up your conversation and we'll know who's yep. talking Opus when. Opus clips. And we'll cut the, yeah. Opus clips will chop up your podcast into 40 clips in 10 minutes. 
what? and give you a title, transcribe every word. But you want the budget to go to prizes anyway. <laughs> $20 wow. a month. Word. I didn't even know that. I just, I just used it last week for the first time. Wow. I was like, holy shit. This is actually, pr- it's, it's all right. I wouldn't say it's great. Yeah. Okay. It's you need right. the facilities for it too, right? Like you've got a computer with. Mm, not necessarily because it's a site, right? It's oh, a site it's an online thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's online. And then, so like you put the video in, like our videos are usually oh, like two hours yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. 10 minutes and chopped up 40 clips. In 16 by 9? Mm-hmm. What? And, 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 add captions. and it put the captions. It also like would take, so say two of us are in one clip. It'll take me, Split. put it at the top, and yeah. take oh, it'll do the little Norm and put him at the bottom. Split it. And while we're talking about one thing and you want to see both of us at the same time because we're both talking. And is that the same site? Is that the same site where like. What's this one called? Opus Clips. Is that the same site where it'll like pick like the best moments yeah for the best and it'll clips. rate it too it'll give you a rating yeah, out of 100 i've, of, I've, I've used it'll it give once. you a rating out of 100 for virality based on your seos yeah. so like if you use this title and you're talking about this because of the hook at the start of the video and what you're talking about it'll do 99 out of 100 a- or 80 out of 100 ai understands good podcasting Oh, like he understands we're gonna start where doing it's that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's it? wild. I, sh- I use it last week. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it for every clip, mm. but like, I'm gonna see what it thinks. Yeah, is viral and then you can at use the very that least. From there, and then use right? that data to just make yeah. my own clip. How yeah, you? Yeah. I don't understand now. Like being in school with AI, I wouldn't do any work ever. Not one. Yeah, I feel like they, it's hard. What are they doing about it's essays? It's scary. Like, how is that getting checked? It's, it's they, there's, there's a AI checker they have. Well, we when we were in school, we used to have to submit ours in the same assignment but see (laughs) but see the thing is and i even did it when i was in school if i'm taking something i'm gonna take it put it in like a rewriter look at that and then write it myself Mm. so it's me you can't say that i didn't didn't you have to do put your essays in turnitin.com yeah no but that's what i'm tested no but what i'm saying is there's there's other websites that are plagiarism checkers but i'll take that and then there's websites that rewrite stuff so I'll take that, put it in the rewriter, take the rewritten essay, and then and write, write it, it myself in my own words. Lord of mercy. Just got to have a thesaurus on hand. Yeah. So <laughs> now, wild. So no, if, you're not getting booked if you do that. Like, if that's I the was way, in yeah. school now, well, I that's the thing, right? Anything, Kids, right? I think the expectation is not going to be anymore what you learn, more so like how you find what you need to learn. Mm, or what you need to know. People who know how to utilize AI, like people who just are good at prompts and knowing the right thing to ask yeah. AI. Oh, like prompts? That's, that's my job. Like yeah. I you, If you find, if you get a prompt book together, you're laughing, yeah, man. You got good prompts. As long as you know what to tell the AI, you got to be so specific to get the desired result that like, if you learn the language, you're set. That yeah. is wild. There's people yeah. creating whole businesses every day right now with AI just because they know the prompts. They're trying to ban TikTok, but when AI is the actual problem. And then there's there's different tools, right? Ooh, there's right. a site I have that show, has every AI tool that's come out so far. And like, so you can go get a logo AI tool, tell them what, what type of business this is, gives you a free mm-hmm. logo, different PNGs, a vector file, all that. Then you go to a next site, be like, this is my business. Give me some 10 ideas to launch. Boom. Gives you 10 branding ideas, marketing, whatever. Then you go to a next one. You chop up the clips. You could do everything. My mom just yeah. started a YouTube channel. Hasn't put up a film or a camera once. Wow. She's just using video and did the whole video. And there's somebody talking in the video for her. So like you can get, you can buy an avatar. You could do that on. You, so can like do that for you, can, you can just take a good enough picture and video of yourself, and it'll make you talk. Like, and you video is sick. It. That's why that guy is a like trillionaire now. Because like Nvidia, for example, if you're doing like his live Zoom, you can do this eye track thing where mm-hmm. if you need to read something, your eyes in the camera for everybody watching is still looking at them, mm-hmm. even though you're looking over here. What I did, I did yeah. something like that for work, like and then Ew. Last it can week, translate yeah. in real time. So, like, say you're you're talking about whatever in English, but your people are they speak Mandarin. Your mouth and everything will move and sound like Mandarin, even though you're speaking in English. Canva has AI. Yeah, I Everything's use it. For, I use it for some of my thumbnail clips. You yeah, know, highlight like I could take a picture of us now, highlight the corner, and be like, put an airplane, and it, it'll mm. plane right there. That's it. Canvas is amazing. Yeah. And Sora, when Sora comes out, that's going to... 
That's gonna be the, it's the game changer. It's it's advancing quick, man. Yeah. What's Sora? Sorry, that's like the video maker. Video so one, I right? just type in make a video of Zoe eating spaghetti, and it'll have a video. No, like a, I want no like an accurate that. video. They just did one. Uh, well they made a whole commercial with Anthony Joshua, and he has not that's done a fun. single second of the commercial. But it's him. So at that point, can you just license your likeness? Is Joan well, is awful. Yeah, black eye, People already black, are licensing their likeness. Joan is awful. Yeah, the Joan is awful Black Mirror episode. That's it, literally it, what that. it is. There's yeah. Instagram uh, pages Kendall that are um, celebrities, but yeah. it's not the celebrity. I thought they it just was like Kendall, Mr. Their, Beast, yeah. a couple people. And they'll talk to you. That's crazy. What? Like Kendall and like Mr. Beast. That's crazy. Scary times. Yeah. See, the world we're living in. Scary times. I want no parts. But I mean, and Canada did say they were going to follow suit in the TikTok ban if it goes through. Oh, they did? Yeah. I mean, that's what I read. How do you feel? Be sure? but they, I'll be using a VPN. <laughs> I'll take the five. To me, because people, <laughs> people have asked me, and I feel like this is the one, kind of the one time where like being pessimistic is kind of like a good thing. It's a bad thing, but it's a good thing. Because it's more like, it's not like I'm distraught. It's more like, oh, of course. You know, why? of course, the one app that I'm lit on, they yeah. want to ban. So I don't even feel a way because it's like, you know, I'm just used to things getting taken away. It's in not life, the so one I don't app really you're care. On. Well, yeah. you're, you're lit on Instagram. Figuratively speaking. And there isn't I would like say you're litter, so. litter on Instagram than TikTok. Yeah, depending on what metrics you're going by. Yeah, I'm yeah. going by the real people, real fans. Yeah, messages. like yeah. impact real and people. things like that, yeah. There's yeah. there's speculations, maybe not confirmed, but speculations that Canada will not be far behind if the U.S. I just don't, the ban. I don't get it. I don't get it either. I don't. I mean, they say it's it control. Was, like it is control, and that the app was made. Wasn't the app made by? Wasn't isn't he from Singapore? But he's not. He kept saying he's not. He's not Chinese. They're just scared a, about it being a Chinese app, and they're gonna hack in information, whatever, whatever. But I, I don't. I think it's so funny. It's like, oh, a Chinese company can't own it, so uh, an American billionaire needs to own it. Like, as yeah, if that's yeah. even a like, little bit yeah. better. Like, didn't, apparently, didn't Mark Cuban? Am I right? Didn't Mark Cuban like say he was potentially open to buying it? Yeah, that would be a wild app. I think it's a big part of <laughs> Trump's like campaign too, right? Like, he wants to get rid of TikTok. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, no, he actually wants, he to, wants keep to keep TikTok. Does he? Okay, that would make he him win. Facebook <laughs> is the real devil. Really? He, yeah. Oh, okay. He Why? Said he's actually mad because he's like, if TikTok, if they lose TikTok, then Facebook will grow in power, and he hates that. Because mm. you can like. That's, but why? Would, that what's the problem with, with Facebook, though? Facebook, though? I mean, I've used Facebook. Facebook they, I, old people are on there, and they can get tricked easily. Yeah, Facebook well, is. Um, also, I swear they were doing all the data selling stuff too. Yeah, mm. and Facebook has helped governments around the world, right? In one way or another. So what? it's it's very tough. <laughs> I just watched the Mark Zuckerberg documentary. That guy is, he's different. Trump man. doesn't mm. want. Different in what way? He's Facebook. like, everybody thinks he's a nerd, but he's really like Michael Jordan. <laughs> like, he's really oh, like. He's a psychopath. Competitive <laughs> psychopath. Really? Mm. Yeah. You kind of got that vibe. And all of his meetings was. Yeah. 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 And all of his meetings was saying, dominate. And then he just leave the room. Ew. <laughs> Ew. He just leave the room. Because really? remember when he first came out, he had to. He's going against the big dogs. Like he's going against Friendster, MySpace, mm-hmm. Black Planet, Asian Avenue. Like there's so many different sites that we were all spread out on. Right. For us to all get onto one site was like almost unheard of right. at that time. There's just too much variety, and the internet was just so new. T. Dot Wire was probably the biggest thing that I remember. Of everybody being on before Facebook. Facebook. And then T-Dot or Vibe T-O or whatever oh uh, that shit God. came after. MSN. Oh, good times. MSN so was huge. That, I mean, was that was when I started using social media was MSN. Yeah. Like yeah. that was like, and then Facebook after that. And then it all went down. MSN was crack, man. That MSN makes, was, yo, that makes sense locked that in. It's wild. You talk to people at school all day and then come home and talk come to on, the talk same to fucking all people. All night. <laughs> all night. All night. Change your status. This, this, and that. All night. You could sub people like in Like you would go home just shit. itching to get onto MSN Facts. just to hear the doo and their yep. screen turn orange. Yep. If you, it's m- if you met a girl, she'd have to write down her MSN on a piece of paper. Oh, and yes. you have to go home and try to Did add you guys go to Wondergrad? No. They, were nah. they still doing that? Mm-mm. No, I don't no. think so. They used to uh, they used to do this uh, night at Wonderland where every high school or yeah every high school in the city all came to Wonderland one night and they locked down the whole park. What? 
and it was that, every you're every showing your school because you just no. see school buses because I lived in Maple I lived across the street yeah so you just see school buses nonstop and bare kids just coming out and it was like one night and it was only grade twelves wow only grade twelves in every school in the city and it was just like it was madness yeah there was always a party in the the kids zone kids zone area there'd be DJ set up be a whole fucking vibe. It was crazy. <laughs> they ain't have And I feel like that probably would have been a, have a lot of fun. Now they're not doing that because it's going to be a country. Niggas are getting shot now. Shiesty mass. Yeah. Getting sturdy. People trying are, to there stab would be fights people. and stuff, but it's like, it would be fights. Nobody's yeah. getting shot. Nobody's getting stabbed. Yeah. People get jumped and shit, but that was about it. But niggas are walking home. I remember walking home with bare MSNs all over my arms and shit. You oh bring my a, God. You got to bring a notebook. Yeah. I had, no, I had no pen. Pen, pen or paper. I just like, had girls write it with a marker on my arm. Came home, my mom's like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, you have that. a sleeve tattoo of MSN names? That's sick. Running to her later. Is like, I just think you're going to me. It's like, oh, I got sweaty on my way T. home. T.L. Wire had one of those baddie pages, but it was for men and for women. Because they had a rating system. So, like, I think it was out of, I don't know if it was out of 10 or a five stars or something like that. And the people with the top ratings, they would put on this page, T.Wire Fly Fellas, T.Wire Fly Chicks. And, like, mm. if you're on there, you're getting mad follows, oh mad my friends. God. And so Wonder Grad Night came now, and I'm walking through, and that was my first, like, taste of, like, <laughs> fame, <Litness>. quote unquote. <laughs> Litness, yeah. Because pe- girls are recognizing me from this page, and I'm like, oh, this is, there's something about this internet thing. Mm. <laughs> That's when I started, like, cluing in on it. And then Facebook came out, and I was like, okay, making mad groups. I was making so many groups at that time. That oh was like the wave. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember Facebook groups. Those were yeah. That was the wave. Or like making a party and they'd make an event page. For yeah. The, oh for the party. my like, god! The event pages on Facebook was. You know how many jams you had to RSVP to? Yeah. Are you kidding? I loved me? it though because you'd know exactly who's going to the party before you, think, you even yeah. went. You think you'd know if your ops are there or not? You could check Facts. the yes. RSVP. And like, why did we treat it so seriously? Like, we really RSVP'd you in need the to event. RSVP, yeah. Like, we actually went on. We're like, yes, or maybe, or no, like maybe, yep. maybe. Treated like a Come Zoom on. link. Well, we treated everything on Facebook seriously. I think mm. at that time, people didn't know what to leave off the internet and what to put on. We just thought everything was required. So, like, right. I remember filling out favorite books, favorite movies, all that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, and yeah, to, like, yeah. really sitting there, like. Okay, niggas gotta see, niggas are gonna see this. What am I gonna? <laughs> what pages right. should I like? Pursuit it should happiness. represent me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Also, I gotta curate this to look a certain way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and also, do you remember pages were basically like tweets before tweets? Yeah. Like the yeah. Page, pages. The page would the page would be Lil Wayne's laugh at the beginning of a song. Yeah. And you would yeah. like like it or yeah. follow it, yeah. and it's like, why am I following Lil Wayne's <laughs> laugh at the beginning of a song? <laughs> Lighter flick, <laughs> Lil Wayne's lighter flick. That was a weird. Yeah, that that was an era. For that sure. was the first type of. That was good times. I think that was almost, arguably, like the best time of social media because, like, it's enough for us to indulge, but not too much where you're hooked on it. Because it's like we were on MSN all day, but like. Even on the webcam, there was no sound. So yeah. you could only do so much mm. where you still had to see people in person. Mm. Yeah. To and the, it was grainy. Like, it was like the webcam was like 240p. You people couldn't People were really also see. getting used to their worlds getting smaller, though, because, like, you used to never even know about half the things in Saga. Yeah. Mm. Or know about half the things in Scarborough unless you're, like, there frequently. Yeah, like, you'd have to go. You had to go out enough, like, to see everybody over there. Now it's like, I see, I know everyone there. Yeah. Like, I watched that, I watched Toronto get smaller. Yeah. It was mm. crazy. Also, was I think being able, whenever, whatever app, no, Facebook did it too, but, like, being able to see other people's, like, followings and friends lists, I think that made everything a lot smaller too. Because if yeah. I know you and I'm going through your stuff and looking at all the girls you follow, yeah. they're probably girls that you met from the city that I didn't know. Yep. And now I'm following them and you're looking at the girls Things that are I going follow. To and straight followers and just going, oh, oh yeah, follow. My oh, that, gosh. that's nice. Follow. Yep. Oh my God. I remember that way. I used to do that. Man, you will literally go on your page and follow I every used to do girl. That you Niggas follow. used to come up to me and be like, yo, dog, I went on your list. Holy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And just add friend, add friend, add friend. Yep. Yeah. Men are that was, so that was, sick. That was the early. That was the early <laughs> form. So that was the early form of Tinder swipe swipe Facts. writing. Facts. You should go into a friend list. And no, no, you, you wouldn't everybody. even friend them. Poke. Oh, oh the poke. <laughs> you would poke. Oof. 
face. That's what you would do. Pokes. It wasn't. Facebook it wasn't no pokes like. Were kind of sick. Yeah, you weren't sending a friend request because that was a little too forward right away. Mm. You poke. Nudge, whatever the fuck nudge. it is. Yeah, it was poke. Yeah. <laughs> nudge was MSN. Nudge, nudge was, was MSN. MSN and yeah. BBM. Trying to get a girl's attention. <laughs> and it made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, nudge <laughs> on the BBM was crazy. Oh, good BBM. times. Or ping. It was BBM. ping. I never, I never had to be uh, like a Blackberry. Yo, so BBM. I BBM. Really? That was top Damn. chopping times. Yeah. Right there. BBM, BBM was ping. Niggas used to time. put that shit on their, their name belt. No yeah. scroll belt. You used to have your pin. That I remember a kid got lost on a school trip once and then took a picture of where he was in the zoo and mm. they were able to find it through his Blackberry status. Yep. Oh, stuff. wow. And you used to be able to ping people, yeah, like your whole group. You'd be able to pin like a whole friend list at the same oh, time. Oh, God. This shit was wild. BBM man. was, that was a good time. Yeah, Waterloo really dropped the bag. What do you mean? It was in Waterloo. Oh, yeah. That's what was in Waterloo? BBM. Oh. What do you mean in Waterloo? BBM was invented in Waterloo. That's where the factory was. What? Yeah. Well, yeah, be, well, blackberries are Canadian, right? It was, yeah, it's Can- Waterloo. But it, Waterloo. Yeah. Did Americans have blackberries, or was that yeah. like a yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, they no, they're they mostly uh, side, like, ch- side sidekicks? And a lot T-Mobile. of corporate workers had like blackberries. Yeah, in it was the mostly US. a corporate thing at first, mm. and then people started catching on that. Like, oh, you can go on the internet on here. Hold on, <laughs> you can put your email on this. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's when it became yeah. super popular. You I remember like that. that. You feel like though that was the golden era of social media. The first one. That's sort of like, that was like the renaissance. Facebook mm. being introduced. We we're still sort of on MSN and stuff. That transition yeah. out, you feel like was the best era. Yeah, I think the that was the, that was the renaissance. And then there was another the another, the next like the content era, the beginning of the content era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not what it yeah, is now. The first, the first iteration like that, was yeah. MySpace and all those pages. It's like, but then you had to know how to code. And then when Facebook and Twitter came out, I was like, oh, you don't have to know how to code. You don't have to create your own page. Like, you don't have to customize your own page mm. and do all these, learn all these codes. Like, even on Tumblr, you had things to. You could do to drag and organize it that way. That's it. Mm. I'm going to there. Then you go on Twitter. I remember nobody knew what the fuck that, that was. Yeah, but I, I did understand Twitter for the longest time. I, almost everyone I know who started their account in 2009 didn't start using it till 2010. Yeah, mm. it took like a year to really understand, get the learning curve of what was. What am I supposed to tweet? People yeah, would tweet like what are you sitting saying? on the toilet? Yeah, <laughs> gonna eat an apple. Like, and then like, people did not know what to tweet back then. And then Toronto, oh my god, we still had that American, like America's like the greatest place in the world mentality. Fake accent. People would tweet in American, if that makes sense. Like. It was bad. I, that. I was uh, me too. Well, now it was bad. <laughs> well, Everybody. now we're getting flamed because Americans don't understand what the GTA is. Have you guys yeah. seen that like viral? No, <laughs> really funny. Yeah, was this on Twitter? I didn't. Of course, see they're, it. they're like in the Greater Toronto Area with like a million laughing emojis, as if yeah. it's something we're just making. So basically, up. a girl tweet. So I guess a girl from obviously from Toronto or the GTA tweeted about like. I think it was like a service. I don't know if it was hair or something like that. And she was like, oh, does anyone in the GTA know where I can do this or know where I can get this? And somehow made it to American Twitter and thought she meant Grand Theft Auto. So they were clowning her like, oh, who in the Grand Theft Auto? Like, how can you hear? And she was like, no, I met Greater Toronto Area. And then it went, it got, went like viral and it went crazy and, the, and a whole bunch of back. And, but I'm like, ser- like, what? Like, seriously? How is that any different from like DMV? The DMV Thank or... You. Or New York, New Jersey, and Philadelphia being called the tri-state area. I think you're Same so different, yeah. man. <laughs> it's, it's Canadian. Like, that's the difference. Like the, <laughs> Sometimes the American ignorance just completely blows my mind. Mm. Like, completely blows my mind. Because how, like, why is this such, like, why is it because it's in Canada? It's such a foreign concept that it's just they don't get an abbreviation for, like, an area. Like, they, I don't. They don't get taught anything else. Like, at all. And that's crazy to me. And then if you say something about it, then it's like, oh. Americans living rent free yeah. in y'all's heads again. Like the amount of times I've told my cousins in New York that it takes me less than an hour to get there by flight, they don't understand. They they genuinely they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, no, I don't think you guys understand. Like we are right there. Like geographically, wh- like why? Like, but what do you mean? It's only like places less than like, an hour. <clears throat> places like Milwaukee can't even talk to us. They're more north <laughs> than us. Like that's yeah. the joke. There are places in America that are more north than Toronto. Yeah, Facts. which is. Colder than Toronto, but they act like Canada is the only place it snows. It's it's like as soon as you're outside the United States, you're like a completely different universe. Like they like, how can a flight only be an hour if you're a completely different country? New York had more register. snowstorms than us last year. I believe it. Yeah, and we're the ones that live in igloos. Yeah, the unique American words are kind of funny though. Like, 
oh, like I seen a state patroller on my way to the tri-state area and, you know, it was 20 degrees, you know, freezing out. And it's <laughs> yeah. Fahrenheit. The, yeah. Fahrenheit <laughs> like, the Fahrenheit completely messes with me. Like that they have their own units of measurement that they, yeah. like, refuse to conform with the rest of the world. We're all on one specific time. Still we doing all use miles the metric and, it's like, and no. shit. Yeah, but they're the, aren't they the only country in the world that uses that measurement system? They Yards. Are. Sure. And- Yards, ounces. <laughs> Tell 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 an American person grade ten and they'll look like you have three heads. It's junior, junior year, right? Freshman, sophomore, junior, Ju- senior. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. do not say grade nine, ten, eleven. No. And if you say it, it's like the wildest thing. Like wait, it's freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was freshman, junior. Even in university, yeah. like what? Even in university, they say freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. They don't really? say second year, third year. Yeah. Their schools are just better though. Oh, way oh, better. In every aspect. Way yeah. better. Like, especially in Cali, like, driving past a school is like, you're driving past a movie set. Yeah. Yeah. Because their schools are out, everything's outdoor. And so, like, seeing lockers while you're driving on the road is mm. like, what? Yeah. yeah. It's so yeah. wild. Way more school pride. Way I don't know why. Pep rallies. Canada dropped yeah. the ball with the school pride yeah. stuff. Yeah. Pep rallies. Yeah. I, I went to a high school that kind of, like, Pep tried rally, to mimic that stuff. Homecoming. So. Yeah. Pep like, rallies and, and, like... Uh, a tradition of um, passing down education to like someone else in your family. Like we have frat houses, we have sororities, but it's not yeah. a thing. It's just not a thing that's passed bedroom. down or spoken about like that. So, yeah. and I often wonder. I'm like, because if you if you taking what frat frats and sororities essentially are, it's like a giant networking thing. It's like a content house <laughs> if you think about mm, it yo. that way. But it's like a content house for business people, and so. Is there a reason why we don't think there's a tradition there, that there may be a tradition there? We're just not privy to it because we're not white? I don't know. I don't know any black person that's ever been in a frat in Canada. I do. Where? I knew some, I knew some uh, black people. Where'd he go? He went to, was in Hamilton, McMaster? Mac? Yeah. And there's a frat out there? Well, it's an American frat that is just has oh, a, like, okay. what are the... the the cues, the cues. The yeah. The cues? <laughs> I don't know if people heard me stick my tongue. I feel like you heard like that. <laughs> yeah, but the cues. There's like cues in Canada. Wow. And I know a guy who's See, a but Q. I feel like that's like gang banging that's in like Canada. Cues. Like it's <laughs> that's like cues like, from Wish.com. It's not. It's not. <laughs> the no name, there's no cues. name. Cues. Cues from Wish. <laughs> President's Choice. TMU. TMU. It's cues. not. It's Canadian not the same. Cues are not real cues. It's not the same. It's like being a part of the Oshawa Crips. <laughs> It's not the same. It's not the same at all. It's not the same. They would beg to differ. They're right. real. Of course they beg to differ. Of course they would. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like And Canada- it's like, and make them meet some of the real ones. It's like, you know when a Chrysler 300 pulls up <laughs> beside of, a, like oh, a Bentley? A real Looks Bentley. good till a Phantom pull up. So you yeah. need the Canadian cues need to link up or like face off with the American cues and see who's the realer dog. Or even the, the Oshawa Crips need to... You'd um, be surprised, man. The Oshawa Crips need to meet the Compton Crips and I see find, who's really bad. I find sometimes those smaller places or more uh, rural places are not... Not as pussy as you think. They're actually overcompensating. Mm, to and prove. are more demons they than love the stab. guys that are actually doing it. They're they, hard in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Like, they, they don't play games because they know what you're already expecting, so they overcompensate yeah. for it. Now. Rural towns, you could get stabbed very yeah. easily. You yeah. think they're pussy, they're not. They'll love to stab somebody. Ugh, yuck. And they have a lot less to lose. I yeah. could imagine. I feel like, yeah, Canada has a very weird... We've not even like a stigma. We just have like a weird thing about it. It's like even when celebrities come here, like it's like... A what? huge big deal. Oh, oh like and, a, yeah. I mean, well, sometimes celebrities can't even get in uh, because yeah, if they have charges, like they're not even coming, so they're canceling their tour the day of. June twenty second is gonna be crazy in this city. Oh, that's Chris Brown plus the Hot in Here festival, hot right? In Toronto, yeah. Mm-mm. So mm-hmm. why did they do that? Wait, Chris the Brown, the T-Pain, Ira Star, T Pain. Uh, Bow Wow, Maya, Mario, Nelly, Nelly. No, Nelly's not on it. Isn't it the Hot in Here festival? No, it's Hot in Toronto. Oh, yeah. so he did. He did Hot in Toronto's festival last year. Got it. Okay, yeah. okay. I thought and it was I think the... they called it Hot in Here because he was doing oh. it. Oh, yeah. damn. Oh, the party's gonna be booming that weekend. See, it's gonna be a tough. <laughs> like she just Dude. said, that it. is. The, I guarantee you, Clyde's mind did not go to the parties that are gonna be booming. I'm literally this thinking, weekend. oh, do I want to see Chris Brown or Akon perform? <laughs> yeah, she's the party. We're thinking, how can we save up enough money to maybe potentially try to get a ticket in the back to see Chris Brown? And hey, she's thinking, so it's like, oh yeah, I'm up. am I? Who can I call? <laughs> 
Who can I call the day of to get me? Sometimes the parties are better than the concert. I'm not going to lie to you. Who Yo, sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> most times. <laughs> the fuck? Like, especially when they're like festivals like that. If I know there's a party afterwards, I usually just skip out of the concert. And just yeah. Go to the party. Yeah. But Depends still, too, though. Like, if it's at Rebel, especially, like, they might actually perform. Yeah. So you might not even have missed anything. But you still yeah. got to know someone you to get Rebel. into the party. Yeah, you got to leave Rebel. That's the, that's Leaving the Rebel is a nightmare. You got to know someone if you're to get not, into if you're the from party. Toronto, or if you're not from Toronto and you ever get... I'm not going back to this warm. Yeah. not even, When it's warm, no. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going back, period. No, I'll go back. I'll go when it's warm because then I could like scooter or bike out scooter! of there. Scooter! <laughs> I can't think of a more yeah. optimal place to scooter to. Is, is if you're not from here, works. if you go to an event, say you're from the States and you come Caravan a week or wherever you're from, and the event is Rebel, the location is Rebel, it just knows it's going to be a nightmare to get Prepare out Prepare for a two-hour drive out. It is the worst walk. location yeah. ever. Yeah, you got to walk like, like half an it hour. It is awful. Cross that bridge. You know like, what? You know what ruined it? When they got rid of that Vietnamese grocery store at the top of the street. Yes, because you could, you could park That's there. That's when that was alternative they got parking. Rid of that. Yes. Okay. That was you alternative could park parking. There and you could walk down maybe like maybe less than a ten minute walk down. And then you could you were kind of passing the traffic to get to your car. Now I'm hoping that they, they make some parking garages when they building up all this stuff. Oh my what god. What they should do, what I've always said is that they should move club district over there entirely. Make that a whole Ooh. neighborhood where it's just the clubs because mm. you move it, then you move all that traffic out of the central part core of downtown. Okay. And it's isolated in this one area. Police do need to lock it off. Very easy. It's yeah. one way in, one way out. Yeah. So it's like you can lock it off easily and have everything over on that side. And loud and whatever. And then because you're, people don't even know what it's like to club hop anymore. Yeah. yeah. You can't. You can't. You can't. Everything's so spread out We used out to now. have everything on Peter Street. Yeah. So like there was Mansion, Aria, Wet Bar, Time Night Club. Uh, what's the fucking one starts with the O? I can't remember. Onyx or something like that. Mm. Onyx was the next one. House Night Club. There's like eight clubs on the one street. Yeah. And if it were one, one club wasn't popping, I'm walking over. Yeah, one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I'm going over here. You can't do that now. No. You, you can't. have to get in an Uber. Go you twenty can't. minutes away, exactly. stand in another yeah. line, and yeah. then it's gotta go to different sections of Toronto. Like, yeah, you gotta sucks. go from Parkdale to King, King Street Queen, to Queen to Lake College. Shore. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's wild. It's too much, man. Not worth it. Like, it's yeah. But is there even, it's not worth it. Could, maybe for you. Is there but. even still like a club scene in Toronto? I like have no that? idea. I'm in a relationship. Uh, like who? <laughs> once you're in a relationship, yeah, we need <laughs> clubs don't even exist That's anymore. A fact. But even still, I don't see people posting that they're at. Like, do people, people still, still go to the club? Yes. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a club. There. I haven't absolutely. really seen there is it. You're aging there's out. There's absolutely. Probably. You're aging out. I don't go to the club. Like, what you just talked about, the only thing that's even kind of close to that is King Street. Like, yeah. there's a lot. Yeah. And even, yeah. but that's a shit show. Lavelle like, and Lost and Found. Yeah. And like, when I'm outside, I'm going to an event. Juliet. Like, it's a party. Mr. Wolf. Yeah. Is that yeah. that's Queen? That's not even King. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, Mr. Don't Wolf think, is Queen. Mr. Yeah. Wolf is Queen. Yeah, I think Juliet's also Queen. I'm no, no, just no, saying names. I've that's never even been to these places. I've never been to those I've never even been to these places. I just see them online. But so, I yeah. agree with him. I realized recently I'm starting to age out of things. And the the first oh, I've been aging the out first of the sign of me aging out and actually becoming old is I really took in that it's been a while since I've personally known someone that's still in college. I don't know anyone that's still in college. Hmm. Think about it. Besides, like, your family. Like, I, you have friends you or have, know of people that are still in college. But, like, do you have friends that are your age, maybe, or around your age that, like, w are going back because they want to, like, not really a skill or something? I have, I have a few really. friends that are like that, that have a degree and then went back to get a But I don't one. even yeah, count like, that. I know people who are, like, I knew people, maybe not now, but people who are doing their masters. But yeah, I don't even yeah. count that. Yeah. I mean, like, a college age people. Probably, I don't know yeah, any no. college age people. But what's college age? Like, 22, obviously, why the hell would 17, you know? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Why would 22. you know college age people, though? No, but even when you're, like, 24, <laughs> you still know people yeah, in college. Yeah, because you're fresh out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's the proximity. How old are you now? Yeah. 28. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. not, you're so not really going like, to know. We're old. You know people getting engaged and having yeah. babies. Yeah. Having babies. Yeah. We're on their yeah. second, third For me, kid. I knew I was clubbing Fifth. out. I was aging out of the club when I stopped recognizing the hot promoter. You know the mm. one pr promoter that has the popping booth yeah, yeah, yeah. every week? Yeah. Didn't know that nigga yeah. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know who that was. They're still there. Especially in your age group. They're still there. I, I, that's some crazy. of them. But I would never there. go there. They are, they are still there, though. They <laughs> they're definitely there. There places there. I would never go. <laughs> no, they're doing like their own parties and stuff. Well, own parties is different. Okay, fair. Okay, yeah, fair. One yeah, off you're is right, different. You're right, I'm talking right. about because I used to be heavy promoter like four nights a week. 
Okay. So it's like I was clubbing, like nonstop. Yeah. And you'd know, I would know everybody in there, like nonstop, mm-hmm. like walk around, you see the usual. It's always the same people. Yeah. If you go to the clubs enough, you realize it's like church. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's always the same people, You're same right. congregation, spending the same money, yeah. buying the same bottles. Yeah. And after a while, when you stop recognizing the people, that are the regulars. Mm. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah, you're aging out. I'm aging out. You're aging out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clubs are not really my thing. Parties, I give if it's a good party, I'll go. Hundred percent. If it's yeah. a good party in the summer, if it's a day party, whatever, whatever. If I know if Marlon's hosting, I'm in his DMs for comps. <laughs> Facts. Like, like it is what it is. If it I depends know on who's DJing for me. That too. It's that always is it's huge. all about who's DJing. That is huge. It's about who's DJing and what I have to wear. Yeah. Usually yeah. if it if it's um Something I got to dress up, I'm probably not going to go. Yeah. But if yeah. it's a casual vibe, and I know everybody else is going to be on casual vibe, and especially now for me, is it the less boots it has? Yeah. The more likely just, I am to go. It's just for the money grab. That's literally what boots are. It's for the it's money grab. It's for the money grab, but it also just takes away from the experience yeah. of a party Everyone's when it creates a hierarchy. Clicky. When everybody hierarchy, is on yeah. the same level, like the best party i ever been to in the city, I remember these guys, Beast Mode. Uh, they used to do this party called Beast Mode, and now the guy he styles Drake. Can't remember mm, what his name is. Okay, um, but they used to do this party called Beast Mode. And they did one on College Street at this bar, and they had twenty dollars champagne bottles, mm. like blacked out champagne bottles. They took the label off; you didn't even know what it was. Oh my god! And everybody in the club had a champagne bottle. Litest night ever. Mm. I get Litest it. Litest night ever. Just because people could be like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a vibe. You just yeah. want everybody on the same plan. And yeah. even if you yeah. didn't like buying alcohol or you didn't plan on it, if everyone has a champagne bottle, I'm going to get one too. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. That's, That's why I love slow jam parties. Yeah, it's like no hierarchy times. in this. Yeah. Like there's right. boots, but like it's not like they're on a stage yeah, or yeah. behind some rope. Like yeah. you're kind of just mixed in with people. Yeah. yeah. So it's like everybody's on the same playing field. I hated the era of clubs where you couldn't wear sneakers. That was just inherently business real. Casual. I like radicalized. I mean, that's me, still like, now though. A lot of clubs. Not really. The really. Chateau vibes back in the day. Not really Aldo though. Shoes. Really when the hood man, way looser now. When way the hood looser. man started getting bread and everyone's wearing like Dior's and Amiri shoes, they started letting sneakers on. You could you could wear Air Forces to the club I, now. I, there was a point in time where the, you could never wear were Air wearing Forces. Jeans and church Chelsea shoes. boots. I think it was <laughs> white people wearing sneakers and like getting into sneaker culture and dunks and ones becoming like a thing you could wear in the club. Like you'd see like a like a hipster Queen West white guy with some shorts and like some yeah. Jordans. You think He'd so? be allowed. Like, but I, they'd be, I they'd think do that. And just let those guys in were. while other people had to Facts, wear. They would let them. Too. They'd let them in. I think it was designer shoes. Becoming yeah, I, I think designer shoes also mm. did that too. But I, I think white people like. Like when they were wearing more sneakers, that made it okay for bouncers designer to in, in. in general. Got way more casual, yeah, for sure. T shirts, yep. jeans, yeah, sneakers, exactly. And those were people spending money and they didn't want to turn them away. Anymore. And I think it's a cycle, everything's a cycle, right? Yeah. Like you have moments I've, it, that might come back where it's like a dress up thing, you never mm. know, right? But it's, I hated that. I, I, it really defined how I feel about parties that whole era. Like it just, I would never have a good time getting turned just, away, from having to dress shoes. a certain way and yeah. shit. Like I just getting, always felt like. I was like losing out on potential gal because I had to dress like this. Like facts, this is I'm not like, how I this look. Not me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wear this to get wear in. Wearing these pointy this ass three, Chelsea this, this three boots. Piece suit. I was like, luckily I went to church. I grew up in church, so I had bare dress shirts and mm. shit like that. But I'm like, man, imagine the niggas that like. Don't go don't. to church. Nothing. Office casual. Now your fucking hilarious. closet. You look like a car salesman. You have a gang of those photos. Just oh, yeah. Le Chateau vibes. Not Le Aldo. Chateau is crazy. Yo, you know shoes. the worst era was? Moccasins. Moccasins were disgusting. Soft mock for one <laughs> oh, or two <laughs> years. <God>. Berries. <laughs> Made a so billion dollars. Because <laughs> this city, <laughs> moccasins and foxtails were Ugh. a thing for like a moccasins year. Moccasins were gross. For like and a year. And I was very involved. And I hated it. Yeah. Because why are we wearing Looking back, I'm like, what am I, the Indian in the cupboard, bro? What is going on? Why am I wearing this? I want to know, is there like a time, like a fashion, (laughs) is there like a fashion era that like is not going to look corny in like five years? No. Because the more I look back, I feel like every three or four years, we kind of throw away what we're wearing. I look three years ago, we thought it was drip. Now I'm like, I would never wear that. Four years before that, I would never wear that. Like, Fashion is, is a conti- get to no, a point. it's a You're continuous gonna cycle. Gonna take that. Things, You're always going to take that. It's Except for like women's that fashion. Forever. I find that if you look back at women's fashion, it's very reflective of what you see today. 
So, like, there's a lot of times you'll look at, like, something from the 80s or the 90s, and women are still wearing that today. 100%. <laughs> like, it's, it, like women, my mom is always, like, you you dressing like you grew up in the, like, that's how I used to dress facts. and I would go out all the time. Like, especially when women were dressing like um, Andre the Giant, they had those, <laughs> Wait, those sorry, wrestling the specs. black bodies, the black bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that that was a thing in the early like eighties when aerobics became yeah. super popular and shit. Spandex like, and them type Jim Gear was like the 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 drip. The first and then it came back just randomly because Andre the Giant is Instagram made, Big Show. <laughs> Instagram made the gym a thing again. And it's I, not fair because women's clothes are way cheaper than ours too. So y'all could dash. There. We're getting there. Y'all could dash. Always. Y'all We're getting there. Depends. Dash your whole no. Fast fashion is allowing a lot of good. Like but, I just bought even, some corduroy baggy pants yesterday for twenty bucks. Yes, corduroy. but even fast fashion. Why Fire. corduroy? I don't. They were no, corduroy. Some 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 yeah, corduroy. Stuff it's baggy. So like, if it was tight, I wouldn't. I don't <laughs> yeah. fuck with <laughs> tight corduroy. It's <laughs> just restrictive. Yeah. But baggy corduroy. Oh, I was like, even even fast fashion. You could buy a dress for like four dollars, and it would look good on you. It would look good. It's not gonna last. But yeah, it's not gonna last. Good. It won't yeah. last, but it doesn't matter because yeah. you're only you only need it for these couple times. Because you mm. could buy another one. That's less than a junior chicken. Facts. Mm. And you could buy a dress. For us, it's and still why would you wear like, it again if you could just buy it again for four bucks? Exactly. To for me, us, it's, to me always it's, fresh. it's always. I went through a stage where yeah, I was like fast fashion and shin and whatever. But then I was like, bro, like one, I'm getting older, and two. I'm more now where I'm like, yeah, it has to be quality over quantity for me. Like, I just want a mm. very curated closet that, like, if I spend the money, I'm not going to have this for years. Mm. And I can wear it all the time and whatever. Like, I don't care to have, like, a hundred different outfits that are all just cheap. I'm conflicted with that, though, because I agree with you. But then at the same time, I feel like because, not even just fashion, I feel like my style changes mm. every couple years. That's true, too. I don't want to buy a $600 super quality jacket that in two years I don't want to wear anymore. Yeah. Mm. Every so spring, I, I throw out mad clothes. So I might, <laughs> you might do a little fast fashion, like yeah. But but also, I think there's an art to fast fashion too. Like you gotta know what to me. Is Instagram gonna ads look are changing the game. Crazy. Yeah. I got finesse. Instagram ads be giving me heat. Nah, I got. Oh, I didn't tell you guys my finesse story. Oh, I got fin. You know how you got finesse at Pizza Pizza? Yeah. I got finesse by a fake skim sale. Damn, wow. They got me off an of Instagram ad. We got it. <laughs> Ladies and, the and gentlemen, thing is, we got it. It came. It looked like it came from the Skims account, but mm -hmm. I, my friend was like, "Yo, but when you click the name, you have to it's check the email. Yes, <laughs> it's not you. Skims at xwabxxxx.com. So like, oh. But my dumbass, like, bro, why would this be that cheap? But in the moment, I'm like, "Yo, I'm like, oh, it's a flash sale. Yeah, like, this is sick. Like, I can get some I nice bras, right some panties, blah, blah blah." And then I get the email, and I'm like, "Hmm." They got me. Send it to my friend. She's like, "Bro, that is not Skims." You got God. <laughs> God, skim. 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 Yeah. skim, skim, yeah, skim milk. It was wild. I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, I'm like, just went to the same show on some pizza. I'm like, they got me, man. Gosh, pizza, pizza got me. I typed in pizza, pizza on Google. I went to the first one, which was sponsored. It wasn't the actual one. The website looked exactly the yeah. same. When I put in my information and it was loading, like the loading screen looked different. And I was like, oh, they got me. That's what you get for going to Pizza Pizza. <laughs> that too. Pizza they pizza. have good deals. Yo. And shout out Pizza Pizza. Wait, wait, I wings? love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah. We <laughs> love your pizza. Shout out to Pizza Pizza. Sponsor me. <laughs> oh, I already am. Yes, yeah, that's why you Shout out to it. the squad. Pizza Pizza is not bad. Oh, depending their on wings are no, their wings are amazing. Uh, no, depending on the location, pizza pizza is not bad. If you get it fresh and you know you get a good location, it's not terrible. The garlic right. now, when I learned the garlic dipping sauce is five hundred calories, that's when they lost me. It is isn't. So I need the weight. Garlic so, uh, dip, it's better than any other garlic. I like dip. the wings. Five hundred yeah. calories. I like the wings. That's wings are elite. Sauce. The garlic dip is elite. It is elite, but it's so bad for you. I've gotten pizza from somewhere from Domino's, and then on my pasta pizza pizza on my got way the dip and got the pizza pizza. Yeah, dip. people do that. That's yeah, how yeah. I feel about the pizza pizza wings too. I don't know what the they wings make it is with. Slap. The wings is cracked. But Whoa. remember when we were at your house and we got pizza pizza and we didn't get the sauce and me and TC, I'm like yo TC, me and TC had to go. We're like yo, we have. There's no way we have all this pizza and no garlic dip. Like, I made TC, like, I'm like, yo, we have to go back, like, right now. Like, we can't read, sit here and ate this I cardboard box. About I, I how uh, McDonald's serves 68 million people a day, and there's only wow. 1.4 billion cows in the world. So take into account that they feed 68 million people a day, but they also have to account for all the other people in the world that buy meat. That's true. So there's no statistical way that McDonald's is giving you 100% beef. I oh, feel, no, they're not. I feel that way about chicken wings, not. too. 
How is there enough chicken wings? Well, yeah, you have for to kill everybody. Whole chicken no, to there, get two there, wings. That, have you not? There was like a I forgot which account put it out, but there was like <laughs> showing a lot of you like the numbers killed. of like animals. Have you seen oh, that? I've seen that infographic. Yo, no, man. Yo, is there enough you, chickens? It's wild no, what people Trisor. eat in this world. Trisor, it's wild. Like the chickens aren't chick- even at the top of the. No, they are. Oh no, the chickens are number one. Top. But, but like the drastic difference, like cows were like. I was shocked they that cows way were more that lamb low. and like yeah. goat and all that way more than Beaver, cows. All yeah, types of shit. I'm telling you, chick like chickens was astronomical. Was so then, how did Popeyes run out of chicken that that time when it was like a few? That's a production well, the issue. Ran out yeah, of yeah, oh. that's more production for yeah. Popeyes rather than not being enough chickens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a lot of yeah. Like, is there a chicken shortage? <laughs> no, no. There's no. If you look at those farms, they house them in very unhealthy conditions. They are crammed. A chicken slave ship. Yeah. Talk about dominating a whole species, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But uh, kill and one who of them to get two and like, they used to be T Rexes. Like that's the craziest part. Chickens. <laughs> yeah. It's the evolution of the, the chicken. Huh. T Rex, and who chose what? Yeah, look at like, who chose yeah. what animals we were gonna like eat? Facts. I've always wondered. Like, who just decided that? Cavemen, okay, the assume. chicken. I always thought God would be very, very perturbed by that. Like when mm. he just made everything to be the way it is, and then he just got the halftime report. Like what was that one? They're eating joke, pigs. Louis C.K. Yeah, they're yeah, they're eating pigs. He's they're like, cutting them up on eating, fire. I gave you all these kids to eat. Eat what the, the shit f- off oh the ground. The shit off the ground. That, that's oh that's what I'm thinking. of. You're eating the chicken. Leave. The chickens alone. <laughs> yeah, but it also depends on where you're from. Like, there's certain areas, like if you go to like China, for example, like they or like India, duck. like India, they du- well, duck is amazing. First Duck's of all, incredible. duck was duck higher on the list so than, than cows. Yeah, yeah, because think of the population in China and yeah. they eat duck, right? Obviously, it's going to be higher. But yo, duck is I rock, outstanding. I, rock with I love duck. a good duck. Oh, it's Duck's rare great. to find. The, 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 they meat. don't really. You Are don't you really find it as often. The, the Dave Chappelle joke about that. Like, duck is better than chicken, yo. His, his I, a, I wouldn't say that. Nah, if you get a good it's Peking a, duck, a, yeah, not a a duck is better than chicken. Than chicken. Fam, I, go get better. A pe- yeah. Fam. yeah, yeah, it is. It's considered Thank a higher you. quality meat. Fam. Duck Laurent. Duck is succulent. Yeah, that it's a lot, meat is juicy. Oh my god! Are you and just when talking you dip about it the, in the sauce and you wrap? Are you kidding but me? Are you just talking about the like the quality of the meat or yeah. the taste of both? everything? Both of it. Both. Both. Huh? Duck. It's just and, a better. But my meat. thing, you can also get bad duck. Don't get me wrong. You can get bad duck for I've had terrible duck for sure. For sure. But a good duck is better than chicken. I, think, I feel like people don't talk about lamb enough, man. Oh, lamb is so fucking. I think good. lamb is. Lamb is. Lamb I think is that might bitch. be the top meat. Yeah. I mean, lamb, lamb is, is that amazing. Bitch. I put it over oxtail at this point. Lamb, lamb. I don't That's do that. Crazy too, coming from you. Lamb Wait, is- but is I don't know if this is a stupid question. Is lamb and goat different? Yes. Yes. <laughs> They're two different. No, different yeah, valid question. I think that's <laughs> different what I consistency. Know. Different yeah. parts. Do they of- ever make curry lamb? I'm pretty sure you could. I feel like it would be I almost like, the same type I don't of thing. Think it, I don't do. think it would really. I don't like- know if it would. I, the thing is, lamb is so. It's so like soft and like I can use the succulent. Yeah. Succulent that it's. I feel like it would hard for like the curry. To, to like really, really absorb, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I feel like oh. it has to be, yeah. It wouldn't be the same yeah. as like a curry goat for sure. Yeah, definitely not. Mm. But yeah, lamb is. But a lot of people don't burn their curry. What do you mean? Like Jamaicans, we burn our curry when we make it. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't burn their curry. So like lamb is usually like a Middle Eastern thing. Mm. I don't think they burn their curry. Mm. And so it tastes drastically different. <laughs> drastically okay. hilarious. Well, but uh, anyways, do you guys think that Drake's the reason why Meg's not coming to Canada for her tour? I think it's Drake, Tori, and Chromas. <laughs> what did Chromas? What did Chromas do? Yeah, what, what, what Chromas, Chromas probably do? did the most. Uh, well, aside from Tori. <laughs> oh, because of what she was like. Obviously. Because <laughs> of what he, she was calling her and stuff? Well, yeah, she called her a horse. She made a song about her calling really? her a horse and her calling her a man and uh, transgender and what? all this stuff. Yeah, I, I remember seeing it. We made a pandemic. Mar- Marcus, Stallion, pa- yeah, she Marcus made a whole, the Stallion. Yeah, Marcus the Stallion. I had to cover it for work. I so why did Chromas have so much smoke for Meg? What the hell? What? Because it, was her. she like back in Tory? Yeah, yeah. Oh, an attention. Nah, okay, just, If you're back in Tory back then, you're going viral. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. So she's damn. Yeah. And she claims so she you didn't really rock think, with snitches. So you like I'm like genuinely asking. Do you think that is the reason? Because I mean, she genuinely thinks Canada's bad vibes. Because I mean, no, she's going everywhere, yo. Like she's in the states, but sometimes she's in they London, announce she's in legs Ireland. of tours at separate times. But so why like, would she skip over Canada if you're doing the United uh, States? Like you're giving, doing so no, but many. But that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's a different leg of her. Maybe the second leg the of her tour is tour. Canada, Canada and Europe. No, but she already released Europe. Oh, she did. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I'm like. That's what. That's why Europe. I was like, yeah, okay, no. come on. If, if Europe's out too, then Europe yeah, is we're out. done. We're yeah, finished. Europe is out. 
Huh. And there's some countries I'm like, damn, like. Is it a sales thing? No. I think it's no. like, does she, have a, Definitely does she not. have a big market in Toronto? I think so. If she has a big market in Canada or New I mean, New York rather, then yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. She said, yeah. I've had enough with the Canadians. She could definitely mm. sell out Scotiabank. Scotiabank? Ooh. Meg the Stallion? Sell out? Yeah. Sell out? Yeah. As a headlining act? Yeah, well, yeah, she'd have to have an opener for but sure. Like who's Scotia mm, She'd have to have a prominent opener, but she couldn't. She wouldn't be able to sell out by herself. Let I think she that. would need to be almost like a co-headlining level type of tour, where like the other person that's performing is on the same level as her. You know? Okay. I uh, only because musically, I don't, yeah, I don't know. know. Recently, I don't know how much I feel like people she's crossed are over to what. Like just mainstream, she's Musical. not. Yes, I agree. She's but not I black don't, famous. You know what I mean? Like she's crossed over. I I just I don't see like trying to think of like even like her hottest songs or like re, like I don't know if she I think can that's sell the out. problem. If anything is the music is the music. That's my if biggest anything, thing. That's she the has problem. the personality. People d- despite whatever happened with her, people still but, like her. But her mainstream popularity kind of comes from that. But I think music, happened, right? I'm like, what are um, the... Like- no, I wouldn't say that. I think her mainstream popularity came at different times. Like, like Hot there was a, a Savage yeah. Savage song with mm. Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, she has her It's probably one of the first Big TikTok challenges yeah. ever. Yeah. And then, yeah, you have the um, the Big Old Freak. I'm that savage. was a huge song. Yeah, yeah. The Baby, the song with the cash, Baby cash went it, crazy. Then you had WAP. That was another yeah. moment that she had. Um, and then, yeah, everything after that was Tory. Damn. Tory related. Like and his, I think Meg went was, number one. Was, yeah, it was. Meg Tory was Hunt. very, or probably she still is. She's a very, like, um, like a brand. Like, brands loved her, too. Mm-hmm. And they still do. Yeah. She's still with Nike. She Now she's, like, the godmother of fitness. Of I have a theory fitness. about that, but. What's the theory? Mm, I don't like it. What is it? <laughs> Say it. I feel like they, uh, they. Attach themselves to a certain portrayal of black women. I'll put it that way. Because if you notice who brands go through, go for, they're not, they're not going for the Rhapsodies. They're not going for, like, the Lady Londons. They, they're going for the girls that are going to twerk and present themselves a certain way. Oh. While also spitting female empowerment. That's huge. You got to spit female empowerment at the same time. Which brands was it? Just Mike? all brands. Oh, okay. period. Mm. I, I get what you mean. I, if, if, yeah, you guys can, yeah, I agree, yeah. I, if you guys can point me another example that's outside of, you know, that sphere of black like a woman. black woman that gets lots of brand deals tangibly and stuff that isn't presented Well, that Cardi way. is a brand deal. I think Simone, like presented that I think Simone Biles heavy. gets kind of <laughs> a lot of deals. And Simone Biles? <laughs> what? <laughs> Brother, what? that's sports. That's... Different. Oh yeah, artists. that's completely yeah. different. I was just, I just thinking <laughs> black. I was just thinking black women. No, I read it. I read it. I get it. But like, no, no, no. That's not the same. For artists, I'm trying to like think of, in pop okay, culture. So black women who have a lot of brand deals, I would okay, definitely Cardi B. You're right. That's the archetype. Sweetie, sweetie. That's the archetype. Uh, Meg. That's the art. Lotto. What brand deals is Mulatto? Is Mulatto starting to get brand deals? Didn't she do something with uh, Ice Spice? Yeah, Ice, Ice Spice, Spice definitely. Yeah, it's just twerkers, man. You show more ass, City you, get more cash. you get more cash. City girls. I'm, I'm trying to think of like black woman singers and stuff that I've seen in ads and stuff. I feel like Mary J. Blige had a run of like where she was getting sponsored by a lot of different, and she was doing a lot of commercials mm. and stuff. Not that I know. Maybe anyways. not to the level like yeah, brand. Her is probably the only one I've ever seen get like a couple brand deals that yeah. were pretty big, sheerly off talent. Yeah. Yeah. Because that nationwide song, I would download that. <laughs> her that nationwide commercial. Oh, I would download that shit. I'm She's trying, I think you do have a point. Like I'm trying. Beyonce I'm struggling has had a too. few. That's Beyonce. Beyonce. She's an anomaly. Fair. Yeah, she, yeah, <laughs> can't she does not count. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to. But think. that's true. They like, only push a certain type of black. Where Janae Aiko is not really getting no deals. Any no. woman that's gonna teach you real, real empowerment, real womanhood, real, real raw. This, Sex Focusing on their talent, not throwing sex in your face. They're not. They're not backing you. And well, it's, it's the same to, goes for all of hip hop. It's not mm-hmm. just the women. It's the men as well. If you're a guy that wants to get famous right now, say the worst things you could possibly say on a rap song. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, a lot of these rappers and a lot of these artists, they know it. They know That's it. Why they're doing Future it. has said, "I don't do none of this shit that I'm." Saying on these tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they know but that they're works. not going to get pushed if they don't say it. Yeah. And that, to me, is selling your soul. 
Really? You think so? Yeah. You know you're fucking up your community, but you want to make the money. Mm. It's like there's no way you don't know what you're doing. Music is powerful. Like, right. Powerful. But I mean, Future also has 17 baby mothers. So I mean, can I mean to a certain extent? He is, is living he, his rap. Yeah, I mean, mm. maybe not the crazy like drug stuff, but I mean, to a certain extent, a lot of these guys don't do any of the things that they say on the songs, or yeah. they and they never did any of the things that they say on the songs. Yeah, but they tout like they're the ones that do it. So it's like at the end of the day, you can only tell your friends' stories so mm. much before I'm like, this is just. I feel like being a rapper is so tiring. Like the the tough guy rapper, I feel like it must be tiring because it's like, come on, bro, you're doing a lot. Like I remember I saw one video of ESTG and they were at a club and I think he was performing and they were going in the club and the security was like trying to search people and they were searching people and they came to him and he's like, bro, don't search me. He's like, no, like, it's just regulation, you know? Like, it's a quick search. And he made, like, a big thing about how he does not want to get searched and he does not want the security touching him because he doesn't want to get searched. And they, like, I think they, correct me if I'm wrong, they might have been, like, late for the show or they didn't do the show because he was outside and didn't want to get searched. And it's like, it's like, I get it, bro, but, like, come on. Like, that doesn't make you less <laughs> tough because the security <laughs> patted you down, fam. Like, mm, man, weird mm, things. There's a lot to live up bro. to in that world, man. That's why I never subscribed yeah. Mm. I really think a lot of ga- uh, gangsters are gay. I think I just think the optics of everything is just like you love men, like you you <laughs> physically might love women, but mentally you love men. Like, like the emotional approval and like validation it's comes a lot way of weird from stuff, like the man. Homeboys. Like I've never wanted to chill with guys that much. Yeah, I think it's, I think a lot of just men culture in general. It's like masked. In we do everything for women, but it's really for, like the for the approval it's of their other bro men. Something squatting, women say bro. that I think is very true. It's like, so yeah. bro you care way more about dog. like your your dog's approval and like the other men and stuff of what they could say. Men are getting like, pussy yeah. for dick. Yeah. Like, do you yeah. understand? Like, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they be crazy. fucking girls just so they can tell their homeboys that they did that. Yeah. Shit. They want to like, impress the guys. Like, like if you're still wild. in that mentality past high school, I think. And it's it's definitely something you have to unlearn, and some people just don't unlearn it. But even when I was younger, I never really subscribed to it. Like, I was the guy that the guys made fun of because I was always talking to the girls. Yeah. And so Marlon has to be eating pussy for bus tickets. Marlon's, <laughs> oh, God! Mar- oh, Marlon's, my God! Marlon's eating, eating pussy for, for, bus for, for eating Chinese pussy food. for bus tickets? Chinese food. Yo, the rumors that were made up were ridiculous. It was unbelievable. That the was things one I would of them hear though? about myself. Bro, and it's so funny because you remember the rumors oh that people God. said about you. Because they're so far-fetched that it's like... I got to lock that one in. That was, like, is that that was the crazy. Most, is that the wildest thing? What's the, yeah, what's yeah. the wildest rumor that you heard someone say about um, you? There's a rumor once that me and my friends ran a train on a friend that like was an actual friend of ours. That she came to our house, we ran a train on her and peed on her. No, like, when I say there's nothing to even, like, I don't know, make that claim real. There, <laughs> it's not like we even took a picture, like... I don't even know how that came Who, to be. Someone just made it up and ran with it. I well, I mean, I had to start. Someone must have started it somewhere. I don't ask. I What's don't the ask. wildest rumor you've heard about yourself? Um, nothing super outlandish, but I remember like when I was a bit younger, like early twenties, like um, I heard that for a specific girl, like I was her boops, and I was buying her like Apple watches and track suits and oh, I mean things <laughs> like that. And I'm like, first of all. I don't even have that. <laughs> How am I buying it for next? Buying it for other people. I don't have no money. I don't have none of that. So mm. I'm like, yeah, just like stuff like that, or like I've done certain stuff with certain people that I've never met in my life. It's like, where? Do yeah, you guys- it's mostly that. Yeah. It's yeah, usually like, oh yeah, he did this with that person. It's like, who is who's that? Yeah. One that I heard was that I was messing with a certain Toronto rapper, not Drake, a certain Toronto rapper that is fairly big. But I was like, name him. No, I'm not. Put a name on a bullet, man. I'm not, I'm not. (laughs) But I was messing with... And when I tell you, my jaw hit the floor. Is he beat? Yeah. Oh, damn. Not attractive. Like, at all. You don't want it on your jacket. No, (laughs) not even close. And the thing is, the person said it so casually. Like, 
Yeah, like, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, matter you? of fact, Lee? yeah, like, literally, like, my homegirl was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm here with Zoe, but he's like, oh, the one who's messing with Blake. And I was like, oh, what? I, I whoa, is he a good rapper whoa. at least? Oh, no, oh, that was funny. <laughs> but and how I was is that? like, what are you? Whoa, I don't, I've never met, like, I think I've seen him once at an event. And he's from Toronto, yes. I'm like, we've never spoken, like, I don't know him, I've never said a word, like. I'm like, how the hell did you just let that roll off your tongue like that? Like, but, I was Jay, like, yo, what's wrong with you guys? But how is that even the way you address somebody? Like, what? Oh, yeah, the guy, yeah, the girl that smashed the girl that be fucking insane. Yeah. Like, Why what? would you even say that? I, what yeah. scenario would lead you to be like, yeah, this is okay? <laughs> like, what the <laughs> hell? And why did it just roll off? Like, oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, Zoe, oh, the one who's uh, messing with, I'm like. Is he older who, than you? Who, the guy? Who yeah. Said, yes, old man who brought it up. And I was like, who, first of all, who are you? Yeah. And second of all, what? What? Damn. What? Zoe fuck Baka? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how I tried to narrow it down? I was like, yo, he's on the old man. Yo, you good rap? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sprinkling it in. <laughs> trying to get the so, No, it, was, it wasn't Baka. Ru- all it takes is an accusation, bro. Nobody cares about facts. And the accusation will yeah. stay with you, even if it's not true. It, and we've it, seen so like, many different yeah. women lie. Like, this is the crazy thing. It's like, you see so many women lie, and I understand that there's so many more predatory men than women that lie, mm-hmm. but there's still women that lie. No, 100%. <laughs> and that should and always swept, be taken under, under, under account. The rug. Amanda Seals t- said an ex-football player... That uh, eight women came into her DM, and one of them said that he answered his door naked. And not one shred of evidence or proof or person has come forth since that moment. Sorry, I need you to repeat this story. So Amanda Amanda Seals, she said she manifested this guy coming into her DMs for years, and she's like, he's gonna, he's gonna DM me one day. That's a crazy thing to say. What do you mean she manifested? She said she she manifested him coming into her DMs. So she had a crush on the guy. She had a crush on him, and so he came into the DMs. She held crystals, and apparently he, (laughs) apparently to the full moon, (laughs) and apparently he, uh, he tried. I guess he was too forward, and he wanted to like fly her out to hang out, and she got uncomfortable with the conversation, took a step back. And then she went on the Breakfast Club. She, for some reason, brought this story up. Mm. Didn't name him, but said everything but naming him. So okay. then now people obviously people knew obviously put who two it was. and two together because it's the internet. And then, like a day or two later, she said how eight women DM'd her, and then about and then she said his name on an Instagram oh. story, or whatever. Who was it? Is someone and famous? She's like, I feel like it's my duty to warn women oh, that blah 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 blah. And people were like, okay, cool. Like, is there any proof and any empirical proof that you can give or any, like, person you could point out, anybody can come forward? Who was the the man? Was he famous? Myron Rolls. He was, like, an ex-football player. Oh, God. And he had to come out and clear his name. But, like, by that time, when you clear your name... It's, you're getting once, half yeah, the audience. Once the stain yeah, is there, no you're getting yeah. half the audience. Yeah. People aren't seeing, and then they're yeah. going to keep it in their head. Yeah. And when they hear your name, oh, that fucking nasty bitch mm. that... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro. Yeah. It, it's hard because, yes, the, like women are sexually assaulted every single day, and it happens all the time, and a lot of us don't even talk about it or bring it up or yeah. whatever. But then it's hard when women come out and lie about it, but w- then you have the problem where it's like, I'd rather believe... Some women have the mentality, I'd rather believe a woman up front who can potentially be lying because I'm like to question a victim looks crazy, right? You obviously don't want to do that off rip. A lot of women have that mentality where it's like, well, I'm just going to believe a woman because so many of us sexually assaulted and might not bring it up or whatever, or whatever. So I would rather take the hit of a believing a liar than defending a man off rip. I can understand you why st- women struggle would with like- believe quicker. Sorry? I would understand why women would believe quicker. Yeah. would be quicker to believe than men. Because yeah. like, obviously we're on this side of things and seeing... You know yeah. what we see, and, and then women have experienced that's the from thing fucking birth, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, numerous yeah. occasions. Yeah. There's not one woman you know that can't point out numerous occasions in her life where she, especially an attractive woman, mm-hmm. where she's been just handled the wrong way yeah. at some point. And I've been handled the wrong way for sure. So mm-hmm. that's why, I, and that's the thing. When there's so many of us who have experienced it, and like I said, the spectrum can be large, right? Like whether you're low on the spectrum or something more intense happened to you, like you can just admit, you're like, okay, well it happened to me, so I'm just going to believe it. Because I've had that experience exactly. myself. So exactly. because so many of us have had that experience, we're like, it's not far well, fetched. Yeah, I'm going to just, I'm going to believe Likewise, it. Likewise, yeah. Because I, I had something like that happen to See, me. See, and then on our side as men, we think... We know our friends for the most part. Mm-hmm. And so we're, it, that guy, no way. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. and you, you think you know guys based on other guys you know. So if a guy's like this guy, you're like, 
like, well, that guy wouldn't do that. It's mm. just like, you can't speak for every man. You no. know what I mean? Like, especially when you're talking about something like as crazy as sexual assault, no guy's going to tell you that they sexually assaulted a girl. So yeah. it's like, you would never know. Yeah. <laughs> like if this is happening, you'd never know that this is what he is. Yeah. As a man. Yeah. Like, you guys, women would, would see that way clearer. 100%. You know what I mean? Like there's some, there's certain times where you could definitely tell a guy's a creep. Like if, yeah. he's, mm-hmm. if all this nigga talks about his sex nonstop, like he's always talking about gal nonstop. Like there's no other mm-hmm. form of conversation that can come up. For the most part, usually you can get a sense of like this guy's. This is too important to him. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas there's some guys like. You still won't know because they're super casual about it or whatever the case. Mm. You just got to be privy to everything and be, yeah. not put anything past anyone. Mm. Yeah. And I also think that that could be a tough situation, too, because there is also times when it's like, say, a girl, you know, tells you something about a guy and you might even bring it up to him and he denies it. And it's like, I know her and I know him. She says he did it. He says he didn't do it. What do you do at that point? Tough. But no, sometimes men don't even realize that they're doing it. Like certain you, things, like men don't even realize. Like, bro, that is fact. literally assault. Like you cannot do stuff. Like taking a off a condom. Some men like, oh, well, like that is literally sexual. Well, assault. We don't even take without it. her oh, without ahead, her knowing. Sorry. I was sorry. just saying that, like, we don't even know that that is like a patterned behavior thing that happens often. Like sometimes you can hear a story about that, and you're like, wow, that's crazy. But it's not like that happens all the time, or that like that you almost mm. view it as like an isolated incident. Mm. But it's like. As what kind of sucks as a guy, even as a smart, like, you know, you receive information well, you almost need to experience it or see it in real time to be like, oh, like, that's what you mean. Like, a girl can say to you, like, oh, I was being nice to this guy that was, like, being away to me because if you reject men, sometimes mm-hmm. they can get violent. Yeah. And maybe if you don't see that, if you've never seen a guy get rejected and get, like, aggressive because of it, you can kind of, like, hear something like that and be like, eh, I don't, I don't know. And then it's like, you have to like see it. And then it's like, how many more times does this happen before you have to like believe and, and like see I that? I feel like you shouldn't even have to see it. Like, I mean, like that's, that's, like, that's, not, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I mean, but just certain things to just like understand also, it's a, it's though, a like, pattern behavior. Especially with guys. Like I've watched some old shows and old movies and sat there like, man, they're boxing around. Like you can like, do that, bro. Like, wait, hold on. This is how bad we were. Backhand so it's like, in movies. There's a lot of things that you we grew up just taking in and mm. not really realizing it was bad even. Like there's movies I've seen where they literally tell a guy, give her a few drinks. She'll yeah. she'll come around. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like yeah. those are normal things yeah. in movies and TV mm-hmm. shows back in the day. So mm-hmm. guys aren't gonna grow up thinking that's rape. You right. know what I mean? Like, they're going to think this is just what you do yeah. with women. And so until you uh, unlearn all those things, like, especially with the media, like, I remember there was a time where Mary Kay and Ashley were 17. And if you went in any no frills line and looked at the tabloids, there'd be countdowns to when they turn 18. That is so sick. And they used to, Britney Spears and, and Paris Hilton and them, they used to come out of limos and paparazzi would be laying on the ground Trying, trying to get, to get a, picture a picture of their pussy their through the skirt. skirt. Yeah. That's and then crazy. post and say, oh, no panties. Yeah. Britney's wilding with out. With a star. Blah, blah. With a star yeah. there. Or when them getting out the car. Obviously, when, like, if you're a woman, well, you guys don't wear skirts, but when you're a woman in a short, the amount of times I'm in a short dress and I get like, I'm like, bro, I know. Yeah. I know it's a, and I'm not even, I'm generally not trying. Like sometimes if you're in a short skirt, and that's why I try not to wear short dresses. You like, you can't, like you can't position it. Or like, they'll you wait for you on some out. stairs and wait yeah. for you and then take pictures. It's like, they, they were disgusting, yeah. man. Yeah. So it's and like, it was normal. Normalized. Well, look at that quite on set document. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like literally all atrocities, and all bad things stink and, and will come to light. Like so many things that I didn't realize. Like I used to watch Nickelodeon quite a bit. People don't know what Quiet on Set is. It's a documentary that just, is it. Well, for Canadians, it's on. Is it on Prime? I, have I think no Prime. Idea. I, don't I don't know, know. where you can view it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just seeing it's clips. On Twitter I want right to watch. Now, I know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's on Twitter and TikTok. There's clips all over. Full but... episodes on Twitter. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, okay. So people with blue checks are just posting the full oh, episodes. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So I watching Quiet on set. I'm going to watch it. But basically, it's a documentary about, for trigger warning, sexual assault and um, 
you know, with minors that was happening on Nickelodeon within like the whole production on the set with executives and so on. Drake Bell had a really crazy story that happened. And there's also now they're releasing clips of like stuff Ariana Grande did. Those clips are insane. Those clips of Ariana from Grande. Dog. From when that, that was real. Ha- I remember my that sister, era. My sister said it and she's like, bro, like it's been weird. And I, I never watched Victorious. I never really knew it's Ariana Grande before she was Victorious. Ariana Grande like, the singer. Just, yeah, like Nickelodeon as a whole. I remember that era. And I remember as a kid thinking, why are they always like talking about feet or doing something with feet yeah. and showing feet? And it's like, it's weird. It was weird from then. Mm, I, I that remember Ariana that. Grande highlight reel. It was not horrible. It bro. was nuts. Horrible, that oh. shit was. And it's so obvious that an adult's telling her to do these things that yeah. seem innocent. It's like, Jesus. I don't know if you guys ever seen those Disney compilations where they show all the times Disney's incorporated sex like mm, subliminally. Yeah. yeah. So like there's that moment where Mufasa like lays down on Pride Rock and then the sand goes up in the air and it, it spells sex. Little oh, things like that. Yeah, or yeah, like yeah, in yeah. um in uh, Little Mermaid, the priest has a boner like the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole wedding he has Dear a boner. God. Just random things like that. And it's like this has been going on for a long time oh, where very. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's necessarily programming. I think it's adults thinking that they can get away with something because it's kids. Right. Yeah. And at this, at, while they're thinking they can get away with something, they're literally programming kids to think hypersexually. Like, yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. They had this girl squeezing a potato. Yeah, trying to get two juice hands out of it while moaning. Oh, the water bottle thing. Oh, was... like yeah, what drinking the water bottle that? upside down. Like what the hell? And she didn't even like put the water bottle to her mouth. She just literally poured it all over herself. Like it was crazy. What and was did... Drake Bell's? What did he do? He was sexually assaulted all the way, like yeah, yeah, all the way. But what did he do? Some sort of thing to like Brian reveal Peck all of fell. Asleep. He, he said he fell asleep on a couch, and Brian he woke up to Brian Peck. Sexually assaulting him. Brian Peck, the guy that was also like Drake and Josh, like Josh Peck's, like I think no, so. no, no, I don't know. no. Apparently, he can, no. Apparently, Josh Peck and Drake and Josh made it like there's no relation. Yeah, they okay. said there's no. They just okay. have the same. Same, like, yeah, yeah. same, yeah. But apparently, there's no relation between okay. the two. Yeah, that's still right. He, can you imagine? Like, oh my god! But he like, did also get like, didn't he get charged with doing something like Drake that or Josh? He Drake. got, he I got, got yeah. he got um, caught texting a girl that was underage she lied to him about her age and then when he found out how old he was she was he cut it off okay mm. um but a lot of people were putting out misinformation that he engaged with this girl knowing that she was a certain mm. age and so once he found out allegedly he that's when he cut it off it, it it's very weird and even like there was the the actress from Zoe 101, she was saying there was a scene that where like she and they show this scene where like she's opening like I guess like a juice something like a it juice squirts bar, on like Jamie squir- Lynn Spears. and like it squirts on Jamie Lynn Spears' face and then apparently one of the directors like oh well that was the cum shot but they were kids so they didn't understand what but she, I vividly remember hearing that she saw the scene again and then remembered hearing that yeah as, as a an kid. adult. Like and I'm like that. Like, this is and even that is, black boy that they had the dogs come out and lick the pe- they covered him in peanut butter, and they had dogs come out and lick the peanut butter off of him, <sighs> as a, like some sort of they had like this fair factor thing that they would yeah. do. And the worst is they're also playing on the desperation of parents, right? Yeah. There's a lot of parents who you know maybe are not in the best place or lower income, whatever, and their kid is their way out. Yep. People will do a lot of fucked up shit. It's, agents if are calling the parents that are golden, complaining and telling them to shut up. Yeah. If mm-hmm. their kid is their golden ticket, they will overlook a lot of stuff. I mean, that's happening like now even. Like that happens that, everywhere. That thing on TikTok right now, that Ren creator and like she's making her daughter do all these crazy suggestive oh. things and like That happens it's, everywhere. It's all nuts. the time. People it's are, nuts. I, I think people underestimate how many bad parents there are. I agree. I don't think people, I think people think that, oh, you have a baby, there's this magical love mm. and protection that comes over it. And that is not the case. Mm. No. A lot of people are not good people and should not be having children. It's like, how many, think of how many dumb people you know compared to smart. Right. Yeah. And should I know majority a few of people you know have kids. <laughs> I know a few, and I feel like it's bad to say out loud. But I definitely know a few people that have kids, and I'm like, yo, they should not be parents. Yeah. Having I've kids seen should it. be like getting a gun in cam in Canada. Like it should Hard. be like background. <laughs> Especially checks. these like easily influenced yeah. like parents. Like I've seen, I'm seeing algorithms change people. I don't know if you guys are noticing like 
some of your friends becoming more radicalized on certain things mm. or like sending you yep. like if they if you have friends that like you guys share reels or TikToks and stuff together, their algorithm is showing them some things that you're like, that's concerning. Like mm. there's certain to some of my boys that send me like an Andrew Tate joke and I'm mm. like, mm-hmm. why is that even? <laughs> <laughs> How do you even see this thing yeah. on your algorithm? Yeah, I've never yeah. seen <laughs> Andrew Tate on my algorithm. Neither have once. I actually, surprisingly. So it's like, well, or like but. one of your boys is send you, it's send something and it's constantly either making fun of women or make a poking yeah. fun at women. Yeah. And it's like your algorithm mm. is manosphere. Like your incel you algorithm. You can hear it in their voice. Oh, you can hear no. the way that they but, talk about shit. And then they change. If like, they watch 30 hours of that. I've that had day. people who are not religious at all who are like, what I mean, God fearing. Like, I mean, it's like they're, they're in the army of Christ right now. Mm. Like it's, they're, they're in it. Like it's, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's, it's way past. I believe in God to go to church. It's way past that. Oh God. It's like, yeah. you're going to hell every day. Someone's going to hell. <laughs> you can, someone's being condemned. Someone being rebuked. And just six months ago, you were in the club going yeah. crazy. Yeah. You know the person I shake my head at too? The person that you always see in like the blog page comments, like Shade Room comments, Hollywood Unlock comments. I see some man. Why are you commenting? Just in LA. I'll let that for the gal, them. That's fine. But why for the man, them, I see man them in the shade room constantly. I'm like, brother. Yeah. Brother. Why are you commenting on Justin the Boy's polls? It's a. I don't know the internet. It's a weird space. Why are you following Justin the boy? And I, <laughs> you don't follow. Just, I think Fuck no. Sometimes just, I, I like, think I might. Sometimes the posts are funny. I'm, I don't sometimes. know. Sometimes God bless. I don't, I don't mind though. God there's only bless. there's only one like meme page or blog page that don't like, say. It. I'm not gonna don't, say it. Oh, okay. There's only one page that I follow. <laughs> we can't put people. And on. we all boy, follow boy, it. Boy, does that page deliver, man. That is the Boy, best that page. If you know, page of you all know. time. If you know, you know. It's like, the funniest, but it's so toxic. It's terrible. That I, I see why they're private. You, yeah. There's no way that page could be public. It At would all. It would shut down in a immediately. day. But I don't care. It's the best page I've ever Some followed. Some jokes. Are, yo, I said to someone, like, bro, why would you tell me about this page? Because I'm hollering at this, and it's so inappropriate. G. Oh, okay. Do you know it? Yeah. Okay, we can't tell. Don't. Is it, is it like with magic? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the funniest page <laughs> ever. Bro. Keep, 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 keep. That guy's fucked. He is. Yeah, it's he's so twisted. But I see too many imitations. Yeah, people are trying to be like him and just doing too much. Mm. Oh, is he like the OG for that kind of? I wouldn't say he's the OG. I'd say fuck Jerry's the OG. Mm. Fuck Jerry well, and uh, that Fat. What's that guy's name? Fat Nick. Fat Jew. Fat, fat Nick Jew. Or? Fat. I think it was Fat Jew. Fat Jew, right? Fat Jew. Fat Jew. I think his name is. It's yeah, like this fat Jewish guy from New York with like multicolored hair, and he was pretty flagrant too. Yeah, it's crazy. it's all weird. That space is weird. Hollywood is weird. The internet is weird. Mm-hmm. And then Hollywood makes its way to the internet, and then people make memes out of it. It's it's all scary. Did you see like, the video of Northwest walking around rolling loud, dapping yeah, up, yeah, yelling people, people up, up like a like she? <laughs> this is her <laughs> life. She it's not even her dapping people up. It's three people reaching out adults. to Northwest. Adults. Yeah. Adults. That's, that's kind of crazy. Screaming. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> We're done, bro. We're cooked. Aliens coming here. We're cooked. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> we are cooked, yeah. brother. It's weird. Fan culture in general to me is kind of weird. In like obsessive fan culture. Cause like, why are you? I feel like you love it's because you love Kanye so much that you love Northwest. Mm-hmm. But it's like, what? Or like but I think that there's more obsessive fans than we think. I think you think of obsessive fans in the like, the outward outpouring of love. I feel like majority of people are obsessive fans because like we keep up with this shit. That's true. Mm-hmm. Like we we're in a content space. We have an excuse. Mm. But I would argue even if I wasn't in a content space, I would I still really... be knowing a lot of the stuff that is happening because mm. I just like. No way. You see it, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's like they're part of our escapism mm. is Hollywood. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of people obviously have dreams of the arts in some capacity. Mm. And for whatever reason, you may be there, not there, whatever the case may be, but you're still watching. Right. You know what I mean? We d- Look how much the Oscars pulls in every year. Mm. All these award shows. We're still invested. Yeah. We still care. Like, we're watching other people win awards. 
Like, think about that. I don't. <laughs> That's obsessive. I try not to. <laughs> to me. <It> is. <laughs> yeah. I would never go to anybody's school and watch them just win an award. Fact. Just because yeah. it's your kid. <laughs> yeah. All of it is kind of that. I don't want to go. <laughs> all of it, when you think about it, it really is kind of like, because, like, you watch streamers, like, Sit down in their room. Not even hours. just that. Or even like IRL streamers. Like I'm watching Kai in Nigeria walk around the streets in Nigeria. Why? Facts. Yeah. I'll but watch it's like you're going to watch it. I'll watch Duke Dennis Riz up girls Talk in to Texas. Girls. There are, yeah. there <laughs> are the Duke. Boat. There are with hundreds of thousands of views. <laughs> there's Duke Dennis Riz compilations <laughs> with hundreds of thousands of views. People there's make NBC content from streams. the content. Like it's, mm. There are Joe button content creators that have never been met or seen Joe Budden. Don't do that to Danny. <laughs> Don't do that to Danny. <laughs> there, is a, there, there are people who create I want Danny to make videos spaces, about my podcast. <laughs> talk spaces mm. to talk about yeah. the podcast that was talking about yeah. other people. Yeah. Like it's you're right. There's, it's a yeah, never ending. It's cycle. YouTube channels that just literally cover the podcast and just talk about what they talk about on the podcast and make yeah. videos. So about summarize that. the podcast. Yeah, like you can just know from the stop. You cannot listen to Joe <laughs> Budden. And if you watch all the stops videos, you'll know better what's going on on the podcast than if you listened, probably. People just want to make it. Yeah. And everything is content, People like make you it. said. He just got Rory and Wall interviews. Like he's making it work. He makes There's he monetizes content, YouTube. Like especially how like the like the chain of command of content goes like that to where it's like there's reaction content to reaction content to reaction content of something Some that people happened. will make a reaction to their own reaction yeah, to yeah. their own content. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sure. did that with Kaisana. <laughs> or they make as a reaction. It goes viral. Yeah. There's room for a reaction to this. Or they make a reaction to other people reacting to their yep. video. Yep. So how far would you go to make it? Uh, that's kind of a vague question. Like, I'm I feel like that's like, something we're constantly asking ourselves. Yeah, yeah. As content mm. creators. I think it is. And I think it gets to a point where I feel like you might have talked about this or it might have been years ago, but I feel like you're kind of on the same way where it's like, I think when you start making content, especially if you're like an ambitious person, at the beginning, it's like, I want to be the biggest ever. Yeah. And then the more you get into it, some people stay with that. And then some people are like, mm. I don't know about it. It's not that. worth it. And me personally, like, I don't think I want to be as famous as Drake. Nope. Like, that's not really I've something. I've revisited all that stuff, like, in my mind. Like, I see fame is not fun, and it's no. not normal. No. Yeah. And it's not, it's not enjoyable. It seems like a very lonely experience. I agree. And when your only people you can rely on are also famous, I don't think that's healthy either. Because they're the only ones that can relate to you, but also they're not necessarily in the same position as you so it's like it's just the blind leading the blind essentially mm. and it's um, it's just not normal man the sacrifices the things you got to give up to be that famous well yeah. look at matt rafe i mean allegedly well i was gonna say yeah like there's people <laughs> you better that say allegedly you can't get sued i said allegedly <laughs> very alleged yeah. These comedians get yeah it's tough. i mean did matt rafe really what so what's the story that came out that matt rafe put allegedly the guy said it was satire Okay, so it oh, wasn't true. He's, he backpedaled on it? Yeah, once the lawsuit came. <laughs> oh, he, got, he actually got sued. I don't know if he's, he actually got sued, but there was, uh, the next day there was a bunch of blog spaces saying, Matt Rife considering legal action. Comedians sue, eh? Like, y'all can't take a joke. Man. Well, it's not a joke. <laughs> like, yeah. all those. If there's yeah, jokes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there's you saying to the world that I suck dick to get fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Defamation, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's jokes and then there's that. Blur. Like he is definitely a sensitive person, though. Yeah, Matt Rafe. He responded to a seven year old and told his told him his mom was an OnlyFans chick. He should go play outside or some shit like that. Oh wow. The okay. These YouTube channels you talk about, the ones that cover like because there's ones that do Joe Rogan and like all those like white podcasts. Yeah. Those creators we talking about how all the comedy world. Yeah. <laughs> I love comedy world. I, lo I, I, I love keeping up with them through the, I don't need to watch a whole. Best of the month. I don't need to watch a four hour Joe Rogan episode. Yeah, but it's nope. like, um, they, <laughs> they get sued. They sue those channels though. Like they don't want to be talked about. They don't want to be joked on and stuff like that. Like all mm. the bad friends, Bobby Lee's and Santino's and those it's, guys. Uh, it's mostly Brendan Schaub's. Yeah. It's like the Brendan Schaub's, but that guy's trash. So that's why he's. He's suing people. He's that like, Rogan Spear can't take a is, joke. Uh, He's got a podcast called Fighter and the Kid. Okay. But he's a horrible comedian. Mm. 
mm-hmm. like very bad. They he used to be a UFC fighter. Being a comedian. Okay. Yeah. He has. I don't. Does he do stand up? No. He's said that like I'm not a comedian anymore. Don't refer to me as a comedian. Like he's been fully wow. bullied out of it by those people. Oh. So, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. We love self awareness. <laughs> that boy was horrible. He was putting in laugh tracks and shit into his oh. specials. It was bad. That's man. bad. Yeah. It was like bad. Stick to the fighting. But I also even that he's bad. <laughs> I also think social media would be better if you couldn't see anyone's numbers. Well, that's, that's the what key. that's what Twitter is doing allegedly. That's the key. If if all numbers are gone and it's just the page, I think it would be way better. Even for music, like Say what streaming you will about and Elon. everything. I think he's improving the app. Who? Low key. E- no, there's too much corn on there, man. Well, but it's yeah, always but been like that. It's no? always been. No, corn. it's old. I want to see a viral tweet. more people doing corn. Yeah, it's, it's not always been more that corn that. that's God. being let through. No, it wasn't. Like people that, have always I don't, been. Man, t- telling you, bro, true. it's no, always you been like that. See a viral that. tweet, and then just you have to scroll so, yeah, so like long to see. Yeah, but look what's on it. So many more OnlyFans girls, and the only way they can get discovered is going to those viral tweets. Ten years ago, that wasn't a thing. So the only corn pages were the pages. They would stop if it wasn't working. Yeah, Let me put it that way. Yeah, I guess it they is. would stop if it wasn't working. I would yeah. say there's more incels and horny niggas on the internet <laughs> that are not getting pussy. Facts. The the amount of men getting pussy now has heavily Dropped. declined. <laughs> And heavily declined. It's a state of emergency. It's a crisis. No, I'm dead ass. It's this heavily. Like I'm telling you, if there's a way to quantify the numbers, there isn't a way. But if there was a way to quantify the numbers, I would say from. 2000, anything before 2015, numbers are booming. Dudes were getting a lot more. Numbers are booming. Yeah. Numbers probably peaked in 2015. <laughs> After that, it's over. Once mm. the Trayvon Martin thing happened. Wait, why? What did wait, that have to wait, do with people stopping? I, I, I argue Trayvon Martin was a turning point of social media. It, I get it, what you're saying. Now. It began the woke wars. Like... All the woke shit that I seen happen on social media happened after that moment mm. because it was a black kid getting shot by a white man for no apparent reason. And he became the first symbol, black death symbol on social media. Yeah. Even oh, though yeah. there's people on social media. Yeah, even though there's so- people dying nonstop before yeah. that. He became the You're first right. real he, symbol. Yeah, his story was like... Yeah. And then once yeah. they yeah. saw, oh, yeah. this yeah. creates discourse. This is divisive. This is... It just started happening more and more. Like, there's certain things that happen all the time that we only see in segments. Mm. Police brutality has not stopped. Right. You do not see it on your social media anymore. Not but there was a year or two where it's nonstop. Every, every, you yeah. every, every year, every, every week, yeah. somebody just got shot. Somebody ran. It was like 2020. Like, yeah, like 20, 2019, yeah. 2020. When we started this When we started podcast. this podcast. Yeah. No, before that. You before think so? That, it was already happening. Trayvon was like, what, 2015 or 17, somewhere around there? Trayvon Martin? Yeah. It was 2011. 2011? Trayvon. Yeah, no. Was, wait. No. No. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was not 2011. Like no, Skittles. It was, not, it was not 2011. It was not 2011. Uh, 2012. 2012. Oh, okay. 2012 is when it happened. And you said 2016. I thought, was, no, I said 2015. I thought it was 2015. Oh, oh. But around that area in time is when everything just started blowing up. Like you're just seeing these police brutality videos nonstop, nonstop. And they just stopped out of nowhere. But what does that have to do with the coochie uh, rate lowering? Because now Dude's not getting people girls, yeah. speaking out on things started it twitter started having a uh, direction mm. it was a wild west remember we all would talk about oh twitter was a wild west back in the mm. day people t- saying all types of it shit it was just jokes then the jokes stopped it became social yeah. activism the jokes stopped and, and the social a- activism started and people started making content based on social activism yeah. well all those and hashtags started on twitter exactly right? think black, pieces started yeah. say and, her name in black girl yeah, magic and, and women yeah. started talking more and when women started talking more that's when it's like all the little dirty things that niggas be doing in, in pockets that mm. women didn't think that they thought it was just happening to them. Now they're realizing, oh, it's happening to all of us. And the, that awareness grew. And you see from that point on to where we are now, the, the vitriol, like some women online, there's some women online who their entire content is just men bashing, bashing men. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. While talking about not censoring men. And you can hear it in there. <laughs> and you can hear it in a person's voice if they consume too much of that content, too. Right? That's what I'm talking about. The algorithms, yeah, there's the, yeah, there's algorithms the, are radicalizing people. That is if true. you are in an echo chamber of women who are just saying men ain't shit, 
what is your view gonna be? Mm. Yeah, it's just gonna be many shit. That's but also, you're confirming your bias. It's like the the manosphere guys that are going to the strip club and then complaining about women who only want material things. Where are you going, brother? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to the library. You're going to the strip club. That's where they want material things. That's a fact. So it's like you just have people confirming their biases over and over again to the point where they become like just radicalized mm. on one thing mm. and can't see outside of that. I agree. Social media definitely did change because then there was the era where it's like you can't joke at all on it. Like the mm. the read the room era. Yeah. yeah. Where you yeah. could say yeah. and you couldn't say anything this remotely you? happy or <laughs> the, the, funny. The, 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 this this you? you era was nuts. I you think couldn't. we're still in it. I think we're barely. And, uh, not we, as much. No, no, no. This you used, used to be This you used to be day. nuts. We're on the back end of it. Like That was like, that was the era where it's like you had to start deleting things. Before yeah. that, nobody deleted anything no, ever. Not at because all. Because no one was researching stuff ever. You didn't know what you didn't know. Exactly. So... That just started, oh my gosh. And then on like the lighter side of it, I think because of the algorithms and then the social media, like the seeds planting of the pocket of women who are living the lavish life and then the promotion even through music and life of the don't date broke people and like that growing and then people having those fake standards. Yep. I think that attributed to the coochie de- depreciation rate. <laughs> but even look at now, now. those Because a lot of girls now, or not even now, just in general. I don't want to say now. Because a lot of girls, like, there are a bunch of just normal thinking women. Yeah. A lot of people started like, oh, I'm not talking to you if you're broke. I'm not talking to you for going here. I'm not talking to you if you're doing this. Absolutely. Where, like, five years ago, they probably would have talked to they said had person. no problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely the a thing. Things, like... Even something like um, what you would classify as a hoe, those things have all changed. Like, yeah. Absolutely. I see women now arguing on the side of the hoes and talking down on people who are like... That's the real definition say, of gaslighting. Lotto needs to stop talking about how little body she has. Like, mm. that's a flex. Mm. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when I was yeah. growing up, that was the biggest flex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any yeah, girl yeah. can say three bodies and less, biggest flex in life. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, you're a fucking nerd. It's the over. <laughs> it's, it's really weird. You got three how bodies, you're a nerd. Insane shit. Girl, you call a girl hoe? Of course I'm a fucking hoe. Yeah. I make like, money, though. Women would never used to say that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and the whole... um. That's, it's I you guys, it, dude. You guys are, you, yeah. <laughs> I feel like people are living in their truth a little bit more. I agree. They are. I agree. But I think that is what that is premium gaslighting because it's like it turned and now it's like, well, you guys are having sex for free. You're whack. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, you guys are talking. If you're fucking for free, you're a fucking nerd now. <gasps> like you know, crazy. Yo, like escort like mindset has been co opted into like. It's not as I'm like it's empowerment or liberation. Music is powerful, and it's very and, music and I feel like is powerful. I will say nothing but music has done that. But the thing that's pay interesting, for my time. Like the thing that's interesting though is I feel like this might be the only topic where the reversal side, like for men, isn't really it's not pushed the same. Where it's like escorts and sex workers will talk down on people, but like. Scammers do it a little bit, but like it's not taken as seriously for men. Like drug dealers aren't like you guys have normal dro- normal jobs. They actually, they actually call you innocents, or they'll give you a civilian Civilians. name or some whatever. Mm. So there, there's a dis- there's a difference, a and they understand that there's a difference. Yeah. Whereas women are just shaming any, shaming people for girl. having sex just for <laughs> feelings. Yeah. Hey, like, man. well, if he's not paying at least one bill for you, then why are we? Huh. It's arguably the hardest time to have sex with a woman and arguably the easiest time to have sex with a woman. Yeah, depending oh, on shit. how you depending on how you go about it. Yeah. Depending on how you go about it, like you there can go on be... a girl's Twitter now and find out everything about her if you want to mm-hmm. and just be the man she wants. <laughs> you could do that. That's Sign scary. up for the classes That's that she terrifying. wants to and yeah, then find a way terrifying. to it is. Yeah. yeah. And you can even just you just lie about it. I if Back I have in the day, you a had homie? to ask a lot of these questions, whereas now, if I was single, I'm just going on your Twitter and seeing what Facts. do you talk about, and I'll determine from there if we align. I don't even need to really 
if you are an avid Twitter user and you're constantly spitting out your thoughts, why do I need to talk to you and find out? That's a fact. Mm. Just go down your Twitter, find out if I if I would vibe with you or not, and <laughs> keep it moving. But I feel like that could also be, eh, I don't know. I think someone met my, it's not a full reflection of the person. A little bit, yes and no. I, I, no, it's never a full I reflection. Yeah. But I, yeah. I mean, I can get a good handle on your interests, things you talk about, what you think is good. Right against what you think is not right. Mm-hmm. I can get a ha- good handle on all those things. There's just a couple scrolls of your Twitter page if you mm-hmm. are an avid Twitter user. That's true. Even even your likes. Yeah, people just go in your likes these days and just yeah. like what you what do you like? Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. It's it is super a wild. Time. But then be- this at the same token, there's so many men failing, which I don't understand. I'm like the homework's there. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. And I've had certain people tell me, oh. You don't understand because you're this or you have a platform and X, Y, Z. They say that to me too. But I feel like it's, of course it's a aid, but it's not like me having a platform is not the cake. It's I just don't have a cherry on top. While I'm on the phone with you like, okay, yeah. she said this Still on Twitter. Still got a human being <laughs> like, and understand. Wow. Like, yeah. like it's just the cherry on top. Like if I meet women in person, because I still like, you know, like to talk to people in person. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't. But when I meet girls in person, I don't lead with so the my socials that's mm. more like the that's the home run that, yeah, you know? yeah that's not the that's not what i'm building up with. no way so if a girl doesn't know me and i've heard a lot of people be shocked i think by it's, that. it's arrogant they're to like actually th- they spit out your yeah. social media mm. they think that i was gonna be the type of person where like i want everyone to know me and i would leave with my social media and i thought that i was better than everyone and they well, because I'm they would do like that, that in your position, it's a projection. It's projection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people think, oh, if I was that guy, I'd, I'd definitely be doing this, 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 and this. So yeah. he's got to be doing it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I've heard that. That's it's very not true. The case. That is very true. Like people expect me to be Jamaican and bouncing off the walls <laughs> every second and speaking patois and boom, 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 and like, You didn't come in with oxtail. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, people would be like, yo, where's the oxtail, fam? Like, yeah, I'm on yeah. road. But it's crazy. What the fuck do you mean? Where's the ox still? Facts. And everybody thinks they're original. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the thinks same. No one's ever said this to me before. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> it's crazy. I get it. But the escapism is true. Because I feel like now you guys are starting to understand it too. Yeah. The bigger your platforms get. Because I feel like when I first joined the pod, I would say certain things that I could tell that they didn't really get. And I feel like more and more now you guys understand what I'm saying, what I'm like, yo, like this is going to happen or this might happen. If you say this, this might happen. If you Mm. don't do this, this might happen. And people are going to say this, this and that. Mm. And people do treat you differently. Yeah. Like in a weird way and where it's like you can grow a dislike for people if you focused on it too much. Mm. Right. And if you take it in too, like. If you forget that, like, yo, this person kind of admires you and, and fucks with you. And that's and, just how it manifests in a weird yeah, way. This yeah, this is how it comes out. Like, that's just how they yeah. express themselves. If you forget that, bro, you will, you will not like people, man. Because yeah. people are so fucking forward. They think they, they are entitled to your space. They can touch you and whatever just because they've seen you on the internet. And it's mm. like, it's the familiarity is like... Bro, I will knock you out. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. ever say that yeah. to me. Like, if I didn't know you, for real, like, this is wild. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah, it's interesting. Man. The familiarity is a big thing that I think I've noticed with this platform getting bigger. People, People like to, you to like move, move a certain way, and it's like, yo, get the fuck out of my Just face, in content yo. creating, period, they always know more about you than you know about them. So it's with, like the familiarity on their side is never going to be matched with you because who are you? Yeah. So it's like... You know everything about me. I know I you just yeah. discovered you. And like when I run into people that I know more about them than they would ever know about me, I make sure that they never ever know that I know more about <laughs> them than they know about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I do, it's only after we've gotten comfortable and I'm like and I can see you're comfortable mm. with me as a person <laughs> that I can be like, "Yo, I'm a big fan of blah 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 and whatever." Mm. Never going to fucking come out the gate yeah. saying an inside joke from the pod. Because I feel like I'm involved. Yeah. And but isn't that what people think t- the issue with Toronto is? Like, would you consider that way of, like, giving your flowers or showing your support? No, if you I appreciate some- it. Yeah. I'm just saying the way people go about it, if you don't keep in mind that 
it's an admiration thing and this is this is just how it comes out mm. you would really like not like people you be yeah mm. you can become very nihilistic because especially like, like even just little things like everyone's saying the same joke you get annoyed of hearing it I, they don't know that but they don't know 20 that, yeah. different people have said this to you mm. so you being annoyed with them is gonna come off as fuck like what the fuck's this problem yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but they don't know you've heard this 20 times just yeah. like the mans in your dms aren't knowing that 20 <laughs> men sent you an eye emoji yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, and now I you're not think all toronto men are because ugly, you but... saw it and you didn't reply mm. and now you're ugly i didn't want you anyways it's like <laughs> It's like, no, I just didn't, like, <laughs> yeah. I've seen this too many times. Yeah. That's and, all it is. And when you're a creator. Or I'm not interested. Word. Like, I just, sometimes men don't, re- like, I'm not interested. And even if I don't have anyone, I'm just genuinely not. Mm. In- and I feel like sometimes it doesn't click with men. It's like, well, why would you not be interested? If you're single, you're not talking to anyone. Like, I, I don't. I've seen niggas ask why. I, and I uh, want to. You never ask why. why. And I've never, ever been ever on why. the receiving end of why. Oh, I've never asked why in my you life. Them? I'm not interested. Like I just, I'm not interested. Well, what do you mean? I don't want to date. I'm not interested. Once the girl shows why they're not that she's not interested in me, I'm turned off. <laughs> Facts. I don't want you to. No the most no non-appealing thing I could hear is no. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like all right. So like I don't understand Niggas why that's like, even. But, but yeah, <laughs> like okay, but, lock them up. <laughs> but I also yeah. think. But I also think that that mentality because I have it too. I think. Guys who get girls think like that. No, I think no. There's a surprised. lot of guys who get girls that there's still guys that get ask girls why. That get, are so used to getting girls. Why the fuck don't oh, you want? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like an entitlement. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. especially when you talk about famous niggas that get girls. That's when you see a lot of those like Trey Song stories come out because it's like, yo, I get women. What the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, yeah. Then, then it's like a whole different ball game. Well, Lu- didn't Ludacris say, "How you not gonna fuck, bitch? I'm me. <laughs> yeah. I'm the goddamn reason you would be VIP. That's a CEO. wild bar. Like, <laughs> you can only say that in the 2000s now, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah like, that's like what do you mean? How are you asking VIP. me how I'm you not gonna say fuck? say that today. How you ain't gonna fuck? And then the audience, bitch, I'm me. <laughs> like what? And then the audience, you would be. And then the audience. When something comes out like that, say like a Trey Songz thing, people would be like, "Bro, he gets bare girls. Why would oh, he, he have do to that?" that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's how it works. It's not how it works. That really is the and worst. That's a very defense scary for mentality. That. That's slippery not slope. how worst it works. Defense. Slippery slope. He gets slope, a bunch man. of girls. Why would he have to do that? Yeah, no. That's exactly why he feels like he has about. to do that. He sees those comments and he's like, "Bet." Yeah, and it's scary. And yeah. It's sca- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> You better say, yup. That's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> it's sick. He's a sick nigga, man. Yeah. We're well, gonna stories get... that have come out of him over the years, I'm so disappointed, bro. Yeah, we're going to get... I used to really fuck with Trey Songz. I like, used to love Trey Songz. I thought He's... this guy was next R. Kelly. And I mean... Just not I in that will. way. Yeah. <laughs> just not in that I way. I mean... <laughs> More or less. Just yeah. not in the way that I thought. <laughs> I used to love me some Trey Songz. That doc is going to be... Whew. I heard a story back in the day that made me go... Oh, I've heard a story about him trigger? too. That's very yeah. wait, what? <laughs> Not trigger. Not What's trigger. The story? Um, this girl that I know had sex with him uh, back in the day, and she said she went to his hotel room and he was eating chicken wings. This is all a legend. <gasps> no, he was eating chicken wings. Oh, that wasn't the and dashing the bones over into a corner in the room. Yeah, on the ground. On the ground. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That and she's like so the the sex it just was very transactional and she had sex after very that cold. after watching him dash chicken wings on the ground it's trigger it's trigger you're already there she was gonna do it she was determined she was going home with trigger <laughs> <laughs> she was leaving there with something she was leaving there oh with something. gross she said it was very transactional very cold and then afterwards he just left some money on the edge of the bed Get oh, yourself some wow bed. and left there his up. sweaty wife beater said this is for you <gasps> Ew. Hey, man. But that probably works with some girls. Some women are probably like, thank you. Ew. So I touched the hem of his garment. Yeah. Ew. That's what I'm like, I don't know, man. And I've heard, I have, I know a lot of women who have slept with celebrities and I've heard the stories and it always seems like, yeah, it was just like, and I'm like, why do you want that? Wouldn't you rather get bomb ass dick from a Brampton man or a Miss Sog- but like, why do you even want that? Like, I would just curiosity to be able to say for sure, for to be sure able to say. But I, and I know a lot of girls who tell me the stories after, and they're like, yeah, and it was just like, and I'm like, yeah, girl, you don't even look happy. 
He didn't even, but you don't even tell me that, like, yeah, well, at least the sex was great and he busted. I'm telling you, for all the girls I know that I fuck celebrities, there are not a lot that come out and say, yo, that was bomb. Because it's very rare that they build a rapport first. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's usually it's night of, yeah. um, right place, right time situations. Damn. And it's very rare that, it, so it's like, at the, it, you don't <laughs> realize until you get into that position, like, I don't really know you. <laughs> celebrities yeah. don't pay attention. Like, yeah. can we hang out after this? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, baby. Are you sleeping over? <laughs> like, you're overnight, and if you're and if you're a celebrity, they probably have done that so often that now that it, it does become transactional. It, yeah. Like, Which, well, there's a whole bunch of rules girl, that they have to have boom. for themselves, right? Like, as, if you're a celebrity, if you're Drake, you're not falling asleep with a thing in your house. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta cut. So then yeah. that becomes very informal and like. Wow, like okay, I'm getting dressed. It's four a.m. I'm come on my way home. Yeah, like, you're not used to that probably. So it's it's weird sending you home with a driver, and it's like all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, hey, if some girls like it, sure. I to me, it's just like, well, what's the point if I can just like, if I can get good deck from a regular guy that you know I could actually maybe have a conversation with after and maybe do it again. I would just like priorities. Being it's all able about to priorities. Get, celebrity, get you a Brampton, man. <laughs> There's not many out there. There's a lot of famous a people lot come of out of Brampton, man. man. Mm. Brampton, I would there argue, is. has the most famous people. Alyssa Cara, yeah, Tory Lanez. He has a point. For y'all, who else? Tristan uh, Thompson. Thompson. Tristan Thompson. Uh, Jess Joseph. Rain. Uh, uh, what's your name? Say Roy Woods. Roy, Roy. Woods. Um, Party Next Door lived in Brampton. Uh, who else? Anthony There's Bennett. more people I'm forgetting. Why am I forgetting them right now? There's an in, who is Who's what are you showing that I can't see? Who? Michael Sarah was from Brampton. Oh, the list goes on. There's more. I'm just yeah, not thinking a lot of, of right Brampton. Now. A lot of Brampton people. A lot of Brampton people get out, man. They did it. Mm. Man, see, tell you, Pill Region is it. Hey, shut up, yeah, low key. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause for Brampton. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Brampton. Something about Brampton. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I'm waving the flag. I waved the flag at two hours. We're at two hours and 26. Oh, no. The camera p- people are looking at me like, Nick, you said two and a half hours, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. They're scared of there. The camera's dying. It's right the at S- two and a half. The SD like, cards are getting full. I know Marlon's here, but fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you for coming. We didn't even get really... Well, we got I don't, Did we do anything? We did. We, we did talk about a few things on the list. I mean, not we had a very long list. We're not, we were I not going to hit all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll probably save some for next week. But thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Man. You're welcome fun. anytime. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's much more events and stuff. We'll that see we'll you guys see in the future. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. There's yeah. a lot of. Yeah. 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 We'll see you in the future. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes, we will. Oh, we're going to keep I it. I was going to say. We're going to keep it at that? <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it at that. All right. We'll yeah. keep it for at now. that. For now. Yeah. But, for anyways, now. y'all, thank you. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, gosh.